Good evening. Queen Elizabeth II, born the 21st of April 1926 until the 8th of September 2022, was Queen of the United Kingdom and other Commonwealth realms from the 6th of February 1952 until her death just recently. Her reign of 70 years and 214 days is the longest of any British monarch, the longest recorded of any female head of state in history, and the longest verified reign of any sovereign in history. She is survived by her four children, Charles, Anne, Andrew and Edward. And obviously now we have King Charles III as we enter the new Carolean age. She was very much the grandmother of the UK and the Commonwealth and the world mourns her passing. Mom, your service was impeccable and your commitment to your country will never be matched. We will miss you, the world will miss you and you are now at peace with the Duke of Edinburgh for eternity. Rest in peace and watch over us. With that being said, this is MRC's tribute this week to the royal family and to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. I will now pass it over to the lead commentator this evening, and that is Mark Dennison, otherwise known as Simba. Good evening, gentlemen. Thank you for the amazing introduction. So tonight, I also have with me my co-commentator, that would be Connor Hardy. Good evening, Connor. Hello. 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 We are ready for this, I'm sure. How ready I am for this, I don't know, but we should this see some amazing very action. Long, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but, let's see. Who's going to be the first man to set that? Uh, I believe Johnny Smooth's the head of the queue. That's what I'm following at the moment. Obviously, we're all still on outlaps at the moment. I'm going to go on board with everyone's favourite blowhole. Ah, the Bailey. Yeah. He's just coming up to back straight now, so we shall see God. where he's going to go. Well, we're still on an outlap, so let's see what happens. Well, yeah. He's on inters. Wait, I've just realised Chris is on inters. Ah, he's trying to save his softs, getting a banker in on the inters. That's what the esports guys do. Because you only get like four sets. Yeah, I know. Well, I can tell you, I'm not doing that. I mean, Bergen's got into set as well, but he hasn't. Yeah, Bergen's on into as well, so. Yeah, it's, it's. I've got 7% during qualifying percent of win and 11 in the race. But full suns on my radar. To be fair, that's it. Go on. I'll, uh, yeah, I think I might do the same thing to be honest, and just save a set of those soft tires. Yeah, oh no, no. Scott's been disqualified. Oh! What uh, happened there? He didn't spin coming out the pits, did he? And then... Oh yes, he has, and he's blocked the pit lane. Yeah, yeah that'll he's be what stuck. That is. Yeah, he is stuck. That's him now stuck for the next 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah, oh, he's gone. He's now taking it off him. Well, well he, he may as well go put his feet up and um, have a coffee. Oh, Chris has gone really wide at cops. I, I don't think those things are giving him the grip he needs. Johnny Smooth's just coming into the final few corners, so we should get a time on the board in this second. If Chris gets through on into the leading... There we go. <laughs> <laughs> like, the first time on the board is all 33-5. Scott had issues with pit limiter apparently. Ah, oh, I've never heard that. Well, it is F1 22. Let's see what the barely does. He's just coming now, final corner. 37 7. He's only about four off the. I'd have, ca second drop. <laughs> I'd have called him ridiculous if he'd have gone quicker than Johnny <laughs> on Ninters. And I'm that being start serious, won 30.2. I had closed application ready for when he went past us then. That's not allowed, you've got to keep your company throughout this. 
<laughs> if he's posting faster times on the internet, I'm not stating. It's depressing. Oh, careful about that. Kept that one quiet from us. I know. Oh, I went a little bit deep into uh, turn three as well, but... Yeah. I just but... went down to still now. He is. Oh, he's gone really wide though. Held it well. Yeah, he, he just about managed to save that then. Let's see what you can that, do. Hitting the final corner. Oh! Oh, big twitch. Oh, he's round. 32 1, but sets his fast. <laughs> sets his lap backwards <laughs> over the line. That's like Hamilton finish it with three tyres. Yep. Oh, Ryan! Red car Rambo, 29.5. Times are going to wow. start tumbling now. But let's go have a look what his compadre Fanning is doing. Wait, can we just appreciate that time Bergen's done on Inters? 34.3. Wow. wow. <laughs> That's filthy. Well, you saw his time in the disco the other day, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I was there to witness it in the lobby, spectating the entire thing. Bear with me a second. Here comes the Hodgie. Oh, the Connor curse strikes again. Ah, oh, yeah, you would. Yeah, <laughs> Inter's on great. I, I, might, I, I mean, how those two guys managed that, I don't know. That was horrible. Yeah, I, I, I went to you and you spun. I'm, I'm not coming to you again. <laughs> <laughs> the Connor curse is real. But I was about to say, you were looking yeah. at me and I spun. <laughs> That's true as well. <laughs> Every person I've watched so far has had a massive moment. So G-Star, you're next. But yes. Let's see what the G-Star's going to do. He comes to the end of the first sector. <coughs> 27 9. Purple, apparently, so... He's looking strong. I didn't realise Carl was in here as well. Nick. Well, we've got a staff on the food today. Fanning does a 46 4 then. Let's see, uh, see what Warpy can do is just coming through Maggots and Beckett's. Oh, floppy loppy. Purple middle sector apparently, so. This could be a good one then. Yeah. Just coming through Stirk. Is that the English flag on the back of his car? Let's have a look. Looks like the St George's Cross. Yeah. Third for Lorpy. I think it's actually one of the standard liveries, but it does look like what we wanted, so... Yeah, you can kind of accept it for today. Oh, <laughs> G-Star. Energy Dan's looks a little bit different. Let's go have a look at Energy Dan's livery quickly. I'm I'm the livery man. I'm MRCX, so <laughs> for me these liveries are like nice. Well, I think we'll have to have a vote at some point during the stream. Yeah, I think so. I think it's only fair. The thing is, I was I was a bit worried that they'd all fairly look the same, but to be honest, looking at them, they don't. No, I have seen quite a few different ones of it, so it's good to get creativity going. But we're obviously giving them a theme because of what we're doing this for. Yeah. Exactly. So we the red, white and blue are colours that represented her. Yeah, no, exactly. Obviously as I'm not racing, I had to run mine on Friday for MRCX. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. Oh, Mr. Bailey's on an outlap and he's got the red walls on this time. Oh, he's actually not playing any games now. He's decided against going for the full wets then. Yeah, I think Kid Dynamite's going to tease us again and start last. We know he loves to do it. <clears throat> it depends how much of a break he wants between qualifying and the race. <laughs> I swear in the last one we did at Silverstone, he literally started last and won the race. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah, so. we're not having that again. <laughs> he's, go he's doing it, I can see it. He's still in the pits. He's done this enough times to be an MRCX for me not to fall for it anymore. Usually comes in YouTube chat just laughing. He's probably joined the lobby and gone to the pub. <laughs> I don't Possibly. blame him. <laughs> For an hour. Come back and then <laughs> win. He's like, I'll be back soon. 
Yeah. Don't blame him at all. Is this on tier 3 settings? Because I think that's what Scott got confused by looking at um, YouTube chat. Yes, it is. Because Scott's just put thought was tier 3 and then, uh, well, T3. I'm guessing he means t tier 3. But... Yeah, it should have been tier 3 settings. That uh, could just be uh, a bit of a mistake with the uh, hit entry. Rules. Assist. Yeah. Oh, it happens. I never run the assists anyway. Oh, Martin's in YouTube chat. Hello. Ah, man. the hills are is. alive with the sound of Martin. Ah, uh, bonjour, Mr. Hills. Kids mm. asking what's going on with the Inters. Basically, people are setting a banker lap with the Inters. It saves you a set of softs. Basically, I think you should go out on Inters and put it fastest just because you're the GOAT. I'm going to do it shortly, Connor, don't worry. <laughs> go there we go, Chris, Chris Burley, 29 0. Chris has just spoiled everyone's fun, and yeah, there you go. He put it first. I was quite happy with a 35 0 on Inters, but oh well. But that is a good time. That well, was tough than Chris. He's 29 0, is isn't his Inter time? He's on the red no, no. this time. Yes. Which don't be too I worried. Might to do that. <laughs> I might have to do that, though. <laughs> Ryan says it's good to be racing. It's good to see you racing. And no. you look pretty comfortable as well as getting through to Q2. Yeah, I don't think you need to go out again, to be honest, right? I think you might be alright. Unless Kid Dynamite and Reese Whitcomb all come out. Then you might have Chelsea it. can do. Reese will, will do like an under one minute or something. <laughs> yeah, he'll do it in like 30 seconds. Yeah, <laughs> no, I mean, he's, yeah. He, he'll go in his DeLorean. Yeah. Let's jump on board with Nick BT. And uh, it's just who I was watching as well. See what he can do. Oh, so, why do cops? Didn't invalidate though, so we can at least stay on board. Yeah, I think this game thinks that you lose time by running wide at cops, but it depends how much you keep the throttle on, I guess. Well, the track limits at cops seem to be the same as the last game. Yeah, yeah. Go, go on, kid, try in to see. <laughs> Watch him tip pole position with Inters on. I will leave the session if he goes fast. I'll quit. Uh, it would be... Oh. He hasn't come out. He's going to do it at the end of the session as well. Nick BT, 29-6. So he's right up there in the pack. I think that'll be his one and only lap for Q1. I'll tell you what though, for Ryan to do that lap so early is very strong. Like, considering he did that right at the start of the session. So... Well, him and Reese are just sitting there in the garage, aren't they? They're like, yeah, don't need to bother. Yeah. I'm telling you, they're, they're, gonna they're watching this us. at the pub. <laughs> yeah, kid's just going to drive... He's probably got his wheel set up at the pub, ready to go. But he'll just, he'll just take a sauna back running. when we go into Q3, he'll be like, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah exactly. That'll be up for like 10 Jaegers, and then... <laughs> and still win the race. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Carl's just starting a lap, so he's going to be setting his first half of the session. I wonder what Carl can do. That's who I'm watching at the moment. Nice livery as well he's gone for. Yeah, I was just about to say that exact same thing. He's got a very nice one. He seems to have matched like it with the helmet as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he's done... Carl's got a good creative mind on him, though. He's come up with some very good liveries in X as well. Yeah, he's definitely one to ask if you're struggling. Yeah. There's a, the, the thing is, I never get to make my own livery. Fair Marcy, anyway. I'll let you race one week, Connor, and I'll commentate. Uh, Remember how legendary that commentary was in F2. I need F2. to bring out Natalie Pinkham again. Oh, Gavi, Gavly Pinkham's coming out tonight. Oh, God. oh boy. <laughs> She's here. Oh, boy. <laughs> Mark, when you need to track side news or some news for the paddock, just go to Gavly Pinkham. Yep, yep, yep. and uh, and some uh, Kravitz. Yep. That's God. Mark, isn't it? It is. T-side yes. head. Yeah. Oh, it's trackside Ted. Trackside Ted, Either yeah. one. Or oh, on-track Ted. <laughs> yeah, he should be the on-track <laughs> Ted at the minute, but... 
No, Gav has very sneakily come out of the lap again. He's coming into the final two corners. So Cal goes seventh. And stays tenth. Well, he was twelfth, so he's improved slightly. Oh, okay. Let's Gav see what Mr. Hodgson Sorry, is doing, because he's just That's on his way down to Stir. Why don't it's I see into on that It's car? not a great lap, I'm not going to lie. It's a bit untidy. Oh, right. yeah, can confirm. Reese and Kidder on Reece the way out. Yeah, they've both got inters on as well. Fanning's got the wets on. What? <laughs> wait, 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 Yes, he has. Uh, wait I thought minute. you said this wasn't a good lap, Hodgie. You've just gone fourth. It, it, yeah, I went very, very wide in turn one and made a few little errors. Well, it's still got you fourth, so... It I think, still has. I think you're safe. Yeah. Right. Do we think <clears throat> Reese and Kidder are getting through on inters? No. Uh, to be fair, I wouldn't put it past those two. <laughs> I, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, but at the same time, I, I would probably quit. But I tell you, the man that is under pressure, Bergen. Yeah, I think he's, he's on got the lap at the moment. He's just started it, literally. So. Let's see what Bergen... He's got a nice livery as well, to be fair to him. Kids is very different. Yeah, he said he forgot to make one. That's the issue. It looks like Gav's lo Lotus livery. <laughs> yeah, that is. I think he's run this one in X before, actually. Uh, I'm sure she wore an outfit at some point that was that colour. She definitely wore a green outfit at some point. That looked like a Duracell battery. <laughs> um, you, I, th you, I think you, it needs to be the Energizer bunny to get through this on Inters. <laughs> <laughs> With Kid, I wouldn't be surprised by anything. I'm just watching him go flat out round cops, and I'm gritting my Ooh. teeth. SFR is gone. Mm. Where's that then? <laughs> What's he done that in the pits? Mm, Maybe he thinks he's... I can't see anything well, I think on he is... No, I think he's oh, got Oh, Kid's invalidated. Oh, he has. Oh, go. Let's see Reese. Right. Let's go aboard with Reese. He's right behind him. He's invalidated as well. Are they both? Oh no. Well, I'm sure they oh, can. No. Muster they can go again, lap. though. Yeah. There comes Bergen. Who just goes third with a 29 1. Good lap. He needed that. That was under pressure as well, so. The kid's still got a lot of VRS left as well, so he is going to go again. Has he got the fuel, though? Because he is flashing. He better hope so, or he's definitely starting P19. Yeah, I still think he's he's doing this because he fancies it last the first anyway. If he gets through here and gets in the top 10, he's got to do Q2 on Inters as well. Oh, Don't uh, tempt the man, because oh, he will. Did he get some kind of memo that said we were, do, we were doing reverse grid because everybody were talking about it? <laughs> it's not Maybe. true. Oh, Reese is invalidated again. So Reese is definitely out. Wink is definitely out. He's just taking the pit, man. Yep, as is Chelsea. So it's all on Kid. See what Mr. Dynamite can do. A commitment for cops with inters on is astounding. I know. I saw him on the last lap, and I like had to sit back because I was like, "Oh no." He's invalidated, though. Oh, he has. Uh, this, oh, so kids out as well. So we're going to lose Chelsea, Winky, Reese, Kid, and obviously Scott from Q1. <clears throat> See, since Fanning decided to put the wets on, but probably never came out. I've got to introduce our um, our. Very He's own. out on him at the moment. Oh, is he? Oh, well, I've got to I've got to give you a bit of an insight into what happened at the in his pit garage just a few moments ago. Surprise, surprise, Thomas! <laughs> Are you going on the wet tiles today? You do better than them, boys. Oh, surprise, surprise! <laughs> now, where's our Graham to put those wets on? There we go. That was that was a few minutes ago in the um, the fanning pit lane. I don't um, know if he heard you, but he spun as you started that. <laughs> <laughs> he literally spun. Wow. He is paying full attention. <laughs> He's got to get now drifting it around his door. I'll tell you what, that, that's some control right there. That is yeah, some that was serious incredible. catching. 
I don't know if he's just teased us at this point, but that was incredible. That was yeah, incredible. Uh, Silverson drift. Kid did, kid did a 132-0, which would have put him through, but it was invalidated. Oh, no, man. Uh, well, it don't he count as invalidated. Jeez. It's invalidated because you went too wide. Game time. He said, he said it's a good tyre. <laughs> There we go, Chris Bailey, G Star, Bergen, Red Car Rambo, Mark, Nick BT, Ant, Lopey, Banstop, Carl, Energy Dan, Gav, Fanning, B17, and Johnny Smooth are all through to Q2. Shall we see how many wet tyres we get this session? I don't think we should. Like, I think people will just use a U set and then a new set. I don't think we'll see Inters again. But knowing Chris Bailey, we probably will. But who knows? We've got a fairly mixed... A band stop is a really impressive one there. Yeah. Yeah. P9. That's very impressive. 30 zero is pretty good time. That's, that's fast. That's only, what, 12 hundredths off... No, 11 hundredth off... Lorpy, so band stop for tier two? Question mark. Mmm. What's the end tier four at the moment? Yeah. What do you know? Yeah, we'll All have right. to keep an eye on things like this for a big shuffle round at the end of the season. Mmm. This is where it goes and puts it at one forty. <laughs> I um uh, I I volunteer for tier four. No, sorry, tier five. That's it. Yeah, if I race myself, I'll win every race in the championship. I Unless you crash. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, and take Connor <laughs> out, and take Connor out with me. <laughs> Zandvoort, don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a reaction. I just went onto the gravel. I know. Gravel didn't like me. There we go, no. straight back into Q2. The top 15 are going to fight it out for 10 spaces this time. So we'll see which five we're going to lose. <coughs> Quite a few Definitely eager beavers little. straight out of the pits as well. Ah, Mr. Hodgson is... Uh, oh, second in yes. the queue. Mr. Bailey. Yes, yeah. No, Mr. Carl. He's the first so in Carl, the queue. Carl didn't come out for a, till late last session. He's come out first this one, so he's got a brand new set on as well. You can see the shine. But I wonder if anyone's unused. Mark's on new by the looks of that. No, I'm unused. Oh, well, yours are shut. Okay, well, I'm gonna shut up then because they, don't, they look <laughs> shiny. So I just look after well, them. Yeah, that's fair enough. Sort of. Chris is also out. Everyone's very bunched up. Chris is having a little race for someone. Side by side. I think it's Bergen. Oh, them two are doing a lap in formation. Oh, and now someone else has joined them. Look at this. Wow, I like Ant's livery. That is striking. Get your sunglasses on if you look at that. Oh, when the sun shines on it, it is bright. When the sun shines on it, it looks pink. But a bright pink. If it gets off the TV pod, yeah. Oh yeah, that is quite bright and striking, is that? It's very different, but it's also very nice as well, that's the thing. So... Carl is the first man. Well, let's oh, that. see how Carl does round a lap of Silverstone. I was going to go on board with Hodgie, but if he makes a mistake, we'll only get blamed for it. No, I did that while you went for a second. I went on board with Hodgie and he spun. <coughs> so guess what I'm doing? I'm going back on board with Hodgie. Thanks. Ash, I've just Ash. made a small mistake, to be fair. <laughs> I know, you had a twitch. It wouldn't, se it. It wouldn't select a gear. I was like, oh, no. The Connor curse. Carl's just coming out of Love Field at the moment. On the way, on his way up the old pit straight towards Cops. 
cops is committing not, into cops. Not far behind that, so. Flung it in quite committed. I want to see if Mark's going to lift off here. Another challenge of maggots and beckets. Oh, just a little gear down, but other than that, very, very committed. I think he's, we're playing a little bit safe with Carl on his first trip through Maggots and Beckett's for this one. I mean, it's just good to get a banker on, really, isn't it? So, Kids asking his safety car turned on, I would imagine, sir. I hope so. Well, you did the settings, see... didn't you? <laughs> I don't see why it wouldn't be. 30.1 from Carl. That's a very good banker time. Yes, safety car is on. 29 zero checked. from Nick, 29.5 from Mark, 30.3 from Gav, who kept that very quiet that he was going out. <laughs> he always does that, he stays very silent. <laughs> it's the only time I'll ever stay silent. <laughs> Chris Bailey, 34.3. Hmm. I, I did. Uh, and he's not on to the, this time either. Yeah, coming at the end of the Hamilton straight. Oh no. The Wellington straight, I did. No. Yes. I had a little bit of a wide moment, so I think there's a wee bit more time in there. And I helped Nick with a very nine. nice slipstream, but he was very quick. Can't take that away from him. He's done a 29 wall. That's a quick one. Yeah, that is very quick. I wonder if it, surely someone's going to get the 28s today. Ah, you would think so. Well, it would have been Mr. Dynamite, but he decided to go into us and messed it up. He'd probably do it on Inters. To be fair, give him another lap of low field, he probably would do. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> what I mean. A fresh set. No, actually, probably better on a used set, to be fair. I did better on my second lap. They seemed to have got into a bit of a zone and they were better. That's really bad that this game they're actually okay, is there, in the dry? That's not good at all. I wouldn't say they were okay. I wouldn't go as far as that, and I've said it on. Kid said he loved them. Yeah, but that guy's but, just on a different level. That's true, he is done some. He probably should be in esports at some point, but... He's on, he's on the Cilla Black level. Yeah. <laughs> surprise, <laughs> you know surprise, 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 surprise. Ah, here we go, let's, ha let's have a laugh yeah. with Mr. Redcar of the Rambo. That's who, literally who I just turned to watching, but I will watch Energy Dance on it. No, I, quite, eating, by the I quite like his uh, livery as well. Yeah, I saw that in pictures of media earlier. I like the shade of red he's used and the shade of blue light. It's really nice. If I remember right, he's usually pretty good at this track as well. It's a very metallic blue that he's got on. Oh, yeah, he beat me in tier four. But let's see what he's going to do. Energy Dance restarted his lap. He, he obviously backed it. He obviously invalidated it early because he's still got loads of battery. So. Yeah, let's he was see. pretty slow throughout the lap when I saw him as well. Yeah. Oh, Chris has just had a big moment of cop, but I think he's just going around to go into the pit. Oh, that's full Jeez. commitment there from Mr. Rambo. But cops really flung it in. Oh, he's got a car in the way a little bit here, though, coming into Magnus Beckett's. Oh, oh, big twitch as well. Do we know that one? Uh, not 100% sure, no. Uh, Johnny Smooth. Yeah, I think so. I've got a yeah. feeling that'll get some complaints afterwards. Maybe, but that uh, Ryan was coming at a lot of pace there, but. Let's see, here comes Ryan now. 29-4. I think wow. without, without that, he could have been the fastest. He could be a little dark horse today, you know. He is very quick, aren't he? Purple last sector as well for him. Um, and he did lose a bit of time, actually, in that middle sector where you could say he potentially got hold, held up. Someone's just had a massive spin on the exit of turn two, I think it is. A uh, bit barn stop. Yeah, it was banned stop. I've just looked Unless he was actually getting out of the way, there's a lot of cars in that area of no, the no, track, no, so has Energy Dan as well. 
I was on board with cars in that area. It was... I was on board with Ryan, and you just see Bandstop got donut past him. I was like, wow. But oh, Gabs, is he on another lap? No, no. I'm. I'm just. I'm. I'm being very green and conserving my fuel for another lap. Uh, I'm, I'm. I'm also practicing for the safety car restart. <laughs> That's too fast for your safety car restart. Oh, is, 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 are you doing five miles an hour? Seventy-five miles per hour there. Oh, I yeah, know. You, you need to knock about 70 off that for your reason. I remember oh. at Zandvoort, I was going at 4 miles per hour and I was in second. <laughs> <laughs> what more do you expect? <clears throat> Warm tyres? Well... It, it w would be, uh, nice. It would be a bonus, wouldn't it, to be honest? Probably half the reason I spun on the gravel, my tyres do, I'd have warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice, nice team player that one. Yeah, here you go, teammate. You can have stone cold tires. Well, I had to protect from Connor. <laughs> stone cold oh, tires no in your mid pack. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Are you I mean, one thing yet? I will say about Gav is I've never seen somebody do an eighty-one point seven middle sector. <laughs> well, that <takes> wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I've got to be honest, yeah. that was rapid. Wait, wait for him doing a safety car restart practice, it'd be 181. Yeah. <laughs> and the rest, you've been a bit nice there. I was just referring to the middle sector, not the rest of the lap. Yeah. It's the final sector where he really slows down. Ah, oh, and he's invalidated at cops. You sounded really disappointed in him there when you said that. <laughs> like, stupidly disappointed. Yep. Maybe we just um, hit the commentator's curse there. Gav, we need a little um, accent because a certain someone is out on track. Who's out on track? Zilla. Who? Zilla. Surprise, Sur Thomas. I've come for you again, my man. You've got to do well tonight, otherwise the lower puddlings will go, calm down, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, break, they'll break your windows. Uh, he's, go he's going into pits, he's heard you in ah, <laughs> there he goes. I'm so sorry, Danny. <laughs> maybe, maybe he lives in Brookside? Brookie? <laughs> you need to do it when Anthony's on track, because by the fact that he's got Anthony LFC is on track. And, is Anthony and, a Liverpudlian? Well, yeah, because his name was Ant LFC and he's a Liverpool fan, so I would presume oh. that he is. Wait he, a minute he, there. He's, he's got just started a lap. In his name for the Hillsborough disaster as well. Which, uh, yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, all I've got to say... if. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's just coming around Luffield at the moment. <coughs> he won the last t Tier 2 race, so... convincingly as well. Was that in Italy? Yeah, we were on comms for it, ironically. Were we? Yeah. Oh, so we were. I forgot about that. I was talking about Mussolini. You're talking about a lot more than that. <laughs> that <is really> <laughs> there was a lot of other things you spoke about. Purple that middle sector, true. apparently, from Ant. He is. This has looked like a very good lap. Just coming into the stir now. five is the fastest so far. He's on. He's on for. He's on for top two. Let's see what he can pull out in the final few corners. He's gonna lose or gain so much time there. Twenty-eight seven. No, there we go. Wow. The twenty-eights have arrived. I'm running in Q2. Kid Dynamite said, "Let's get a still a black impression in all three sectors of your best lap, Gav." Oh, I thought I thought he was wanting a commentary of Silla Black. Well, he just said, let's get a silly back impression for all three of your best uh, sectors of your uh, best lap. Okay. I'll I'll do that. Wait, Mandy, why am I evil? Because you made Hodges spin earlier. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's part of the Hodge squad. Mm. Right. Can I get? Yeah, can I... Someone put who is the commentator who sounds like Paul DeResta? <laughs> <laughs> how? I don't, I don't want to say his name. 
How freaking rude. Matija Stanic, I think is his name, but I've never right. heard of the MRC, but yeah. It is the Paul MRC, he's, he's bored, he's, he was busy, he, he had free time, so we, we've... It, it, he's going to go at half time when we got Anthony Dipson back. Yeah, yeah, in MRC we have an actual Max Verstappen, an actual yes. Paul DeResta. Yep. And an actual David Coulthard. And yes. a James A. Caster who comes out every now and then yeah. as well. Yes. <laughs> James, a James A. Caster does come out a lot. Yeah. He does exist. He does, yes. He's had a little bit of a um, quiet not. period. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I think Bergen's um, on a good lap. He's apparently just got purple middle sector. Oh, he's above me. That oh, I'm down no, at 11. I've got to say, just... I really like Bergen's livery. It is it's really nice, isn't it? Let me have a look. You know me, I love talking about liveries. Is uh, this going to be a ridiculous lap? No, 29 zero. Yeah, Ooh, <coughs> I do like that. Where's the 25 he did the other day? I think he's serving it. I think I've heard a rumour that he's oh. sandbagging. Well, I can tell you right now, I've missed my opportunity to come out in Q2. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's Gab out then. That's confirmed. Well, uh, hey, uh, hey, I'd, I'll take eleventh. It's not bad. It's not you great. Know what you need to do to stay eleventh. You need to do the stiller impression for the entirety of Fanning's lap. To put Where is he? Where is he? He's, he, he's, he's invalidated. He's invalidated this one, but he might get back round. Oh, right. he's got twenty-five seconds. I'm watching him. <laughs> Ant says he's a Liverpool fan, but he's not a scouser. No. Where, are you, where are you? Where are you from, man? Tell me. Don't tell Gav. <laughs> tell me. <laughs> For your own sake. If, if anyone wants accents, put the comments in the live chat, and I will try. <laughs> oh no. Well, well so, since he's in comms box with us, do James Acaster. Oh, he's hello. To to me. Connor, can you talk for me? Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Silverstone. <laughs> It is a wonderful spiffing day here at Silverstone. The sun is out, the birds are singing, and my uh, tight jeans are a little bit too tight. How can you do a southern accent but still sound Scottish? Skills. I don't. I don't. Yes, exactly. What Mandy's put a Darkic. What? Oh, a da what is that? A Dalek? Uh, I think she needs a Dalek. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay wait a minute. Exterminate, Doctor! I will find you, Doctor! <laughs> oh, go. God. G Star oh, 28.5. Hold on. G Star has just gone <clears throat> quickest. 128. Second. And I messed up the second last corner. <gasps> I lost a 10th. 28.6. Wow. wow. I've only yeah. just picked up on it. Like. That was quiet, Mark. Yeah, mm. well, I can't get a word in there. How did you get I a did, straight phrase all the way through Gab's impressions on that lap? That's why I made a mistake and when the data came out. <laughs> <laughs> I ran scared. I just, I just so, thought, I'm not going to break, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> the, little, the little Dalek tentacles came out. Woo! Yeah. So there we go, we've lost the mad one. Yep. <laughs> and that's, that's just spanning. Wow. <laughs> Mandy said it was pretty good. Yeah. So there we go, we lose oh, the mad one, B17, Fanning, Energy Down, and Johnny Smooth. So it will now be a top 10 shootout between G Star, Mark H, Anton, Bergen, Nick, Red Car, Chris Bailey, Lopey, Bandstop, and Carl. It's a very strong Q3. I don't actually know. Who, I think Chris is going to produce better than that. I think Chris what? and Bergen are sandbagging a little bit. I think Bergen well, sandbagging yeah, I think G-Star's got a bit more. Yeah, I don't want to surprise Bergen myself. Don't worry about guys, that. That but... was a total surprise for me. <laughs> and okay. Nick, I think Nick's got more as well. Carl's well, time is the one he set at the beginning as well. Yeah. If Sarah... that was with the mistake mark, then you're going to be in the 27s. Uh, I only I lost a tenth. I didn't lose that much. No. I was trying to big you up then. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I was on Bergen's. Yeah. You was going to get a 25 like Bergen the other day, didn't you? 
Yeah, that's, that's, that was it. That's, <gasps> that's the one. I've just thought of another person I can impersonate. Oh boy. Marilyn Monroe. Oh god. That, that will, is so that, random. That will come eventually. <clears throat> anyway, Gavly Pinkham, now you're out. <laughs> How is it track so? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. <clears throat> so is Gavly Pinkham going to actually interview Gav? Oh, yes. no. Please, no. No. Uh, yes. Please, no. Yes. 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 Very shortly. Very shortly. Uh, kid says, I love ha uh, I love the Muttley laugh after a Gav impression. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would, I, I could also do a very Scot- I could do a Scottish impression as well. <laughs> you mean you're a fraud? <laughs> <laughs> He's a big fat phony! Well, yeah. So you're not Scottish after all? Well, I was uh, Scottish. I, I, I'm Scottish, Scottish. I'm very much Scottish. And uh, welcome to Silverstone. No, no, do you know what the worst bit is? I actually think what? Rob's Scottish accent is better than yours. It is. <laughs> it is. That's the problem, it is. So while they're on yeah, our Rob labs, let's, let's have Pinkham in interviewing Gav. So, Gav, how how was that lap? <laughs> Looked a little bit slippery out there. <laughs> I, I, I watched it with great interest, but you looked a bit slippery. Car looked a little bit on edge. How did it feel for you? <laughs> well, I mean, coming into turn one was, was really good. Car bit in quite nicely there. Coming into three, just hit a little bit wide. Tire just rubbed a bit. And uh, Natalie, as you would appreciate, the rubber just went a little bit hot there. Um, but then as I was coming down, the... Um, the the Wellington straight. I, I just ran wide again. I didn't quite hit the mark, and I wanted to aim for it, but it just didn't quite happen. Coming through cops, though, that was um that was a masterpiece, Natalie. I mean, you would have enjoyed that ride through cops. Um, I encourage you to join me next time. Um, but then I came through the essays and just went for it. So uh, yeah, it, it was good. I'm pleased with eleventh, Natalie. Well, I look forward to meeting you again. Anyway. Wow. <laughs> How are you just not in a wall, Mark? Just start his lap as well. I've just yeah, got one, one. <laughs> one. Yeah, he's just got one at turn one. I've caught it. Oh, no. Uh, uh, oh, right. Oh. Wait a minute. Aunt Hux has just said, I'm from many places, but I lived in France since I was three. I know you love to take the piss out of the French, so go ahead. Ah, the wee oui, wee! Oui. My name is Ant Hox! Ant Hox, I support Liverpool, as so I come from Paris! I have been the Francais from three years old, trois, three years old, and I love Emmanuel Macron and Marine Le Pen! <sighs> what was that? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> it was the last bit that got me. <sighs> Have you ever, have you ever watched a uh, comedy that was on B... <laughs> well, well, there was a low, a low, but have you ever watched a comedy on, uh, it was on BBC, it was called Still Game. You know and... what, someone's just spoken to me about that today, funny enough. Ah, oh, right. So Still Game, for those that want to know about it, is a comedy that's set, um, it's a couple of Scottish comedians who are old gentlemen called Jack and Victor. And there is a character on it called Edith, who is a bit of a munter. She's very short. She's got sort of pimples everywhere and she just looks it. But she she comes into the pub and she goes, I love a pint of Guinness, Bobby. And she likes the look of Winston. And Winston's got a gammy leg. And for those who don't understand what a gammy leg is, he's got one leg that's a bit gammy and it's actually plasticky rubber. But she comes up to him in the bar and she wants to kind of get on with him. And she goes, mm, you're a man. Mm. And I'm now we don't need to Mark. watch it. Yep. <laughs> well, no, there's more to watch for that. Ah, well, who put 50p you know, into my own brew in you? <laughs> do you know, well, do you know the other thing? Anton um, French boy's <clears throat> car looks like the Qat Qatarian flag. Where it we, does, actually. Where they're actually mm. racing next year, funnily enough. Yeah. That means we might actually get the track. Yeah, we will. The new one as well. We're going to get a couple of new ones next year. Uh, Las Vegas. Um, 
Vegas baby as well. Oh. Mm. Really? <laughs> yeah, Saturday night race as well. So we've had yeah, a glorified car park in Miami and now we're getting Vegas. Well, the thing is, it'll be there. Vegas are seven hours behind the UK. So if it starts at like seven, eight o'clock at night, it'll be three in the morning UK time. Yeah, that's why all the UK fans are kicking up about it. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll be getting pissed record. Mm-hmm. I'm I don't watching think the dogs will be too amused if I wake up at that point. No. Or you just get drunk and stay out all night and then oh, well, that's come a good point. That's a, no, that's a good plan. That's what I mean. That's why I plan for it anyway. I don't know about anyone else. But can I just say Ryan's lap? Well, he's very quick here. Hodgie's lap. Mm, nice. Woo! Oh, Hodgie. Floppy's gone into fifth. Oh, he's no. Um, and no, at. 28-3. Talk about a benchmark. Well, there's a benchmark. <laughs> wow, we're so in sync. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we commentated <laughs> tier three most of last season. We literally did, and now we're like we're saying the same things all the time. <clears throat> but you know. But just like your soulmates. It's getting a bit Excellent. cramped. I'm glad I'm in like in the car and not in the commentary box. It's getting a little bit cramped and steamy. Mmm. <laughs> it was when Gab was talking about all the stuff he was talking about. Well, yeah. When we were talking to uh, Gavly Pinkham. That's yeah. it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not sure whether that was steamy or weird. <laughs> Take a bit of what you will. One. Bit of a floaty yeah, I, think, I think you're the um, you're the lead cover that one. You could decide. I don't want to decide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I've got to I've got to just put this on just in the interests of Mr. Fanning. Wait a minute. He's out of the session. Come on. He, he's I know. Maybe he is listening. He always listens in. He does he exactly. He's a good support. He's a good MRC fan. He is. Wait a minute. Very good supporter. We're not going to get copyright strikes, are we? Probably. No. Rickside! There we go. This video, <laughs> this video is getting taken down for something. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Gavly Pink. I'm talking to Gav. <laughs> yeah. Is it ever like looking in the mirror? <laughs> when you I, do well, that, guy? I had to, I had to put the heels on just to make sure I was the right si the right height. I'll tell you something. Somewhere Did right you put now, the wig on as well. Is, uh, Chris Bailey is sweating. <clears throat> He does. He does like Natalie. I'm. I'm actually on board with Chris right now. I know he's getting he's right up the backside of, of Ryan. Ryan. He's just, yeah. trying, he's just trying to get a toe with you. <laughs> mm. We know Chris loves a good toe. We know Ryan doesn't. No like injury. Sweating. Toe, yeah. <laughs> Literally in that place. <laughs> I'm not going to make the comment. I was going to make. That's a dope. <laughs> Probably for the best, yeah. Yeah, wise <laughs> move. The Bergen's just on a purple first sector. Just coming around the field now onto the old pitch straight. I must admit, I do miss the old layout of Silverstone. Yeah, the, the sort of run down to the, the final sector was always good, coming down under bridge and then the yeah, swing to the right. Yeah, that was always fun. Yeah, when cops used to be turn one. Mm. Yeah. But then it's like it's like the, the old Hockenheim, just the absolute blast through the forest, a hundred second lap, and pretty much ninety percent of it on throttle. Yeah, those heavy braking zones for the uh, for the, the chicanes. chicanes was yeah. just yeah, that was it's such a good track. Well, I used to like the original Monza layout with the two chicanes. Oh yeah, yeah. the to the left, right, and then left, right again. Yeah, yeah. as opposed, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't remember that one. I uh, can't remember that. I just like the old bus stop chicane for uh, in Spa. In Spa. Mm. Because it kind of goes the other way now. Yeah. It's a bit like Monza. They've moved it to the right left as opposed to left right. Um, um, yeah, t turn one at Monza used to be a double chicane. Yeah. I think it was okay. pre 2000. It was. Uh, yeah, it <coughs> was. Cause... I've, I've been asleep since then. <laughs> Sorry, I don't remember that far back. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's just a, that's old age catching up to you. Yeah, it probably is. Yeah, that's, that's the one. Let's mm. See how Mr. Bailey can do. He's gonna post a twenty-eight-five. Ryan's gone back in the pits. He invalidated. So I don't think he's going to have time to improve. Ryan's got back in the pits, he invalidated. Live chat's a bit quiet, folks. There's only 18 people watching as well, I think. Oh, that's ridiculous. What else have they got to watch? EastEnders. <laughs> Apparently Winky can't get back in the session. Are you able to invite him, Connor? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I'll, I'll try. I'll invite him that. just now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Hodgie, get your priorities right. I know. Right, I'll invite Winky Winky. He can have a double in, but like, how oh, about that? He can be a Tinky Winky. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, does, that make, get does that make Connor dipstick? <laughs> 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 wait a minute though, wait, wait a minute, because then we've got Lala and Poe, and then we've got the, the sucker Hoover, so between you, me and Hodgie, someone's got to be the Hoover that goes... That's definitely you. You mean no, <laughs> naughty <laughs> new new? That, that has to be Gav. That's definitely you. There's no one else that can be. <laughs> well... <laughs> I was going to say that that impression I just <laughs> did there. Oh just... no, Hodgie! Uh oh. Oh dear. That uh -oh. was down anyway. Um, sounds a bit more like Hannibal Lecter than the Hoover from Teletubbies. Oh my, calm down, Naughty Nunu. -nu. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it's called? Is it called Nunu? -nu? <laughs> Why are we talking about the Teletubbies on stream? <laughs> Wait a minute. Lala and Paul, so which one are used to is Paul and Lala? Bags, but, um, <laughs> um, watch what you wish for. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Well, you could be Paul, and uh, Simba could be Lala. Well, I did hear that about him. Yeah. <laughs> Tinky winky. Oh, Dipstick. No. Dipstick. <laughs> Dipsticks. Uh, oh, 28-0 from G-Star. That's a hell of a lap. I think Nick's about to come and set one as well. Yeah. I forgot what qualifier was even going on. He does a 28-7. Puts him sixth. He does. Wait a minute, so, Connor, let me introduce you to what's happening this evening. <laughs> we are racing yeah. at Silverstone. Wait, <laughs> can oh, I just... track as well. There's can, a track. I, can I just say that Dipstick has an actual <coughs> Dipstick on his head? Yes, he does. You're not wrong. He has a giant... <laughs> 27 9. 9! Wow! What? That is what ridiculous. A lap. Petition to get Ad to move to tier 1 immediately. Tier 0 0.5. From the French Scouser. <laughs> yeah. French Scouser, yeah. Well, then he's Hold definitely on. on the run from something. Hold on, I thought Brexit took care of those people. <laughs> Clearly not. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's in MRC on pole. Uh... Can't have a French person on pole tonight of all nights. At least he's sporting a British flag. French. Well, yeah, that's true. Says me, who's sporting a Czech Republic flag. So there we go. We've got Ant on pole with G Star in second, Bergen third, Chris Bailey fourth, Mark H fifth, Nick BT sixth, Red Car Rambo seventh, Carl eighth, Lopi ninth, and Banstorp in tenth. I think we definitely need a petition to move Bandstorp up. That Tier 1. Yeah. I mean, uh, if you look, he's only like a second. No, not even a second off Mark, who is Tier 1. And Nick, who is Tier 1. So I'm kind of 1.5 <clears throat> this season. Mm, no, you're still, you've scored points. You're still 1. Have we got formation lap on? Yes. Oh, that Winky's back. I forgot about that. Tinky Winky. Oh, it looks very cloudy. It does, doesn't it? Mmm. I'm, cur I'm currently sat here doing a rain dance. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, it says it, it looks like it's going to get cloudy towards the end of the race, but rain, rain, come down and soak my friends. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to drive it, I could just watch. No, <laughs> oh. Gabby Pinkham doesn't want the rain; she'll get wet. I think Gav would like. Uh, would, <laughs> <this> would like <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Gavley Pinkham, here's the introductions to Dipstick. <laughs> who is six foot and six inches tall. With the thing on his head. Yeah, we have got formation lap. Yeah, I think we better leave it to uh to Mark and Connor yes. for this. <laughs> Let's have a look at tires. So we've got and Bergen, Hodgie and Scott on the hards. Winky, Fanning and G-Star on the softs. Everyone else has gone mediums. So we've got quite a mix yeah, of strategies going on here. That's <laughs> an interesting call. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what laps you're going to get out of a 100% race. Maybe 15, 20. Potentially, then you could take oh. the hards the full way. Yeah, they did, they did say to me, hards after softs. Nick BT's just had a spin coming uh, onto the Wellington Strip. Not sure I'd fancy pushing the softs too much this early, though. I'd rather go harder compound and save the softs for the end if I were going to do that. Yeah. Because the harder compounds tend to heat better when you've got full fuel on. Yeah. But my, my question is, what's kit, where's Kid Dynamite going to finish? P1. And uh, I was going to say first, but now we've got to guess by how many seconds. I reckon ten. Five to ten. Ant's not no. slow. I think he's still in there with a good shout at this. Oh, no one's slow here. It's just Kid Dynamite is Kid Dynamite. Well, we, Rapido. We don't know how quick he is because he never got a lap in. Well, 32-0 on Inters is very good. Even though it was invalidated, so he did cheat, but. Yeah, for all we know, he could have cut an entire corner and saved himself three seconds. And LFC, well, Anthony, whatever, I know him as Ant LFC, but yeah, anyway. Uh, G Star is gonna, he's gonna be very vulnerable at the start because G Star's on top season hards, so. But he, maybe he's playing the long game. Yeah, but G Star then needs to build that gap out early. If he's gonna win this, Chris Bailey's got himself a bit of an angle going on already. He loves doing that off the start. B17's been disqualified, but it seems to be the only one so far. Yeah, predict this... predicted one stop, soft <laughs> to hard or medium to hard. Yeah, is this the first ever race that Gab hasn't started on hard tyres? By the way, possibly it's got to be one of them. I was going to say, in tier 3, he Here we always go. starts on the hard. Three, four, five red lights. And we're away. G-Star gets an amazing start, as we expected. He's straight into P1 already. Nick BT's making some moves. He's right all over the back of Ant as they come round into turn three. Look at the <clears> start <throat> from Gab. He's up to P7. Wow. Have a quick look at Ryan's had a bit of a poor getaway, he's down to ten. Oh Ryan's gone oh, round. Oh yeah, Ryan's round. Oh no, he's down to P twenty. The Connor curse. With Winky again. by the looks of it. Yeah. Yeah, Gav's had a great start, he's up three positions already. Kid's up four. He's in fifteenth already. Yeah. Oh, Scott's just gone round. He's just had a moment. He's going to make some moves early on, I think. Yeah, uh, I think it, I think it's going to be like Verstappen at Belgium for kid. I think Ant, Ant's just going to play the long game. There's no point trying to stay on the back of G Star. Oh no, it would be yeah. But Pressure him as much as you can so he burns his tyres out, but just play the long game. The issue is, look at the the four drivers behind him. 
<laughs> That's not four drivers you would fancy behind you at any time. Nick BT, Chris Bailey, Bergen and Hodgie. Mm. Yeah, like, they are all very quick, so... And they're closely followed by Carl and Gav, who's yeah, closely exactly. followed by Fanning. And then Badstock's on his rear as well, so... I'm just waiting for Gav to turn around and go, calm down, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> when Fanning gets a bit... I'm wow, trying to make yeah, a movie. Gav and Fanning on track together, this is historical. It is going to be a calm down, calm down moment. Kid's up to it 13th. Is. He is absolutely flying. It's like an isle in the field. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's... Him qualifying last has given everyone else a chance. If you want to look at it that way. He's trying to make his race more out. interesting so we didn't run off at the front and just not see anybody all race. Oh, Scott's had another spin. Oh, that's not a good start for Scott. No. But he's getting himself back going again. A safety car can always bring you back in, so... Let's have a little... Gaps are spreading a little bit at the top. I think the closest is one of the closest is Carl on the back of Mark. Yeah, Ryan's got himself like... three seconds already. Chris is quite close on the back of Nick as well. But the cars feel really heavy. Yeah, they usually do with this much fuel on board. <laughs> well, I mean, this is a hundred percent though. So it's I, like yeah. double what we're normally used to. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of people make the mistake of not practicing with that full fuel on. Oh, lot something's happened to Lopi, he's just dropped down to 16th, 17th. Yeah, but I think he's... I think he had contact with whoever he was battling with, I can't remember who I it think was, Kid were going for an overtake, I don't know if he, maybe he's powered a bit too much, trying to defend yeah. it. But Kid's next subject is... Baldy Baldy. His next target. And DRS yeah. is active already. It is. How long is it going to take him to dispatch him? I don't think it's going to take long for Fanning to dispatch me. He's rapid on those softs. Chris, is, Chris and Nick are battling in cops. That is definitely for Chris's favourite overtaking spot. For Stafford and Hamilton, that's how you do it. They both made it through, they're alive. And Chris is through, he's done it. He's into P3. Let's see what, if Fanning can make the move on the way down to Stur. Or if Gav's going to tell him to calm down. We've got Kid lining up, Baldy Baldy. Oh, he backs out. I just ran wide at Stur. Ah. Uh, what? Oh no! What's happened? Kid and B17 just had a little bit of a come together. And now uh, Reese is about to get back past Kid. It could be a race long battle between Reese and Kid, to be honest. The Kid's already lining him up. Wow, he's not going around the outside there. He is! Which gives you he's the inside it, for the next the one. Line. Oh! They were so close together then. It's literally whoever gets the best traction. And oh, the side by side still. It. I think Kid's got more less downforce yeah, on the. Got the inside. Yeah. But he's still sticking it there. He's run a bit wide, but Kid gets it done. That was great battling. And now he's going to be trying to line B17 up. Bandstop's now right on the rear of Mr. Night Shadow. He's not going to go side by side into cops, is he? No, oh, no, thank goodness. Oh, he is. Gav's gone wide, really wide. But he's managed to keep it in there for oh. the time being. But... Wow, side by side for Maggots and Beckett's. That's brave. Yeah, that was good driving from both. I don't know how there wasn't contact there in Maggots and Beckett's, but... And there we go. Kid's now got E17. So Kid's next target... Is going to be Gavly Pinkham. It is. Ooh. Let's go move all back up to the front because Ant is right on the back of G Star. Is his softs going off already, I wonder? 
It shouldn't be, but... Because Fanning isn't really making inroads on Carl either. It must have hit a graining phase. Potentially. Even the but mediums, yeah. though, don't feel great. Well, yeah, the hearts have got no front-end grip. Yeah, and it's definitely got some grip on those hearts, though. Well. Oh, you're down sector three. Who is that? I think it's Winky. Oh, Woody Winky and Scott having a good little battle. Red Cow's just made a move on Chelsea as well. Yeah, this is going to be a four-way battle before long, though, for the lead, because Chris and Nick are just joining the back of this now, so... We're just on board with Ant going into Maggots and Beckett, see if we can make it work on the way down to Stir. So he's literally... He's less than four... Three-tenths of a second behind as he activates DRS. G-Star yeah. must be running low wings, though, because he's keeping that gap. Nick's re overtaken Chris. He has. He's got through just at the end of the running to straight, so. Smash that. Good move. Um, kids Nick's just set fastest lap as well. as well. Yeah, I ran wide into store again. No front end grip. Fanning's just gone around the outside of Bandstorp into the final corner. That's a brave move. Yeah, it was a really good move. But Carl is still right on that rear of Mark at the minute. So Reese is in ah. the pit already. He has been for his Reese on. Ah, it's front wing. Something must have happened. Wow. There, is it? Three seconds for Chris as well. So he's put the hards on, which is probably a good choice at this point. Yeah, I think he doesn't really have a lot of other choice at this point. Run so. them as long as possible and go for softs near the end. Oh, me and Mr. Bildy Baldy 17 are having a little bit of a ding dong. Let's have a look at this. Oh, wow, they are. Oh, oh Baldy he's gone. lost it. Yes, yeah, he's gone. That was a weird one. Don't look to have done any damage and he's kept the car moving, so shouldn't get a safety car off that. I'm wondering if he almost just put the power down too early or really lifted off through cop because he didn't take that much curb. It's one of them weird snaps in cops by the looks of it. Probably the high fuel catching people out. Yeah, maybe. I'll be honest, he also had my kind of dirty air as well, so... Yeah, because you've got twice the fuel on board of what anybody's actually used oh, to racing Oh, Bandstorp's lost it in the final corner! Oh, he has. Yeah, he's got to go in again though, so... Nick's just got past Dan. Oh, them two are having a right tussle on. Oh, oh Nick's, Nick's lost it! Yeah. Oh, that was... I don't know if there was contact. I think it was just a rear end snap again. Didn't but... look like contact. Yeah, I think Nick just <coughs> tried to be, get a bit greedy on Let's the power. Let's give G-Star a bit of a breather, because it's got Ant out of his DRS. It has, definitely. But it's also put Bailey into Ant's DRS. Yeah, so this is this is actually, temporarily at least, playing into G-Star's hands a little bit, because... Wink is in no, the pit now. Now Ant is back in his DRS. Uh, it doesn't look like he's got wing damage. No, that's a scheduled stop, so he's in for hard. After six laps? Well, he was on softs, which is making me think, is that the reason why G-Star is struggling so much? That's very, very early for the softs to die off on 100%. This is a very high tie wear track, but yes, it is very early after You normally laps. get double what we're used to. Yeah, that's true. Because our tyre wear is doubled because we run 50% normally. But Ant is already right on the rear of G-Star. He's got so much more grip, it's crazy. Maybe it's this mean, these lower temperatures are just not favouring the softs at the moment. Potentially, but I think G-Star could be getting overtaken. 
I think G-Star's running slightly lower wings, so he struggles in the corners, but he's got the speed on the straights. Yeah, you may be right there. Well, that's what it looks like from what we've seen, anyway. Yeah, because Ant can't really get near him in a straight line, but Chris is also right there now as well, so... They've all, all three of them have just gone very, very <coughs> wide in sync at the top, so... I need a little crank of front wing in my next pit stop. Ant is literally pushing G-Star around Beckett's and Chapel. G-Star yeah. is flashing like mad. He must be out of ERS by now. Yeah, and is literally... Oh, well, <laughs> any closer and he will be up his rear. Oh, as you would say, up his chuff. <laughs> I was trying to save that for later in the stream. Well, you can save it. I've just done it. I've avoided it for the whole... Uh, there's so many <coughs> opportunities I've fought to myself. But, you know... Um, less than two tenths separating the leaders. This and then you've got Chris, just a mere four tenths behind. This is insane. He's literally sniffing for any chance he can get. Yeah, I think Chris knows. These two have already had a bit of wheel banging. So, did G Star just briefly have DRS then, or did I see that wrong? I think you saw it wrong. Oh, he it made it does. work. God, a very. Surely it's done. There's no way G Star can hang it around the outside there. He's got a bit wide. But Made the he's move into left field. Oh, Chris is there as well. Oh, no. They're going side by gonna... side into cop. No, no he's not. not. Chris is brave. Oh, contact. Contact again. He's practically pushed him around cops. But they've got away with it. Wow, I don't know how either of them did not end up. G Star's really dying. struggling at the moment. He is. I, I, I think the softs are really suffering. Because whoever the other driver was that started on soft soft with a winky as well has also come in. Fanning, Fanning. Fanning's paid. Yeah, so Fanning's got rid of them as well. I know it's a high deck track, but less than 10 laps is mental. Yeah. Oh. Oh, what's happened to Gav? Me and the barn door just had a little uh, altercation. A friendly one, though, yeah? Yeah. Always good. Mark is right on the back of Nick as well here, so... Yeah, he got past me after a little mistake, and he is quick. Um, we're coming to lap We Willy Winkle. Um, but my kind of next focus is on the gentleman who is... Behind you. Yes. Yeah, I was just about to bring that one up. Monsieur Dynamite? Yeah, ten laps in, he's already Peter, but surely he's winning this. <laughs> He's literally exploding here. He's 12 positions up in 10 laps. Yeah. <coughs> I there may is... be creating a train behind me. Choo choo. What's the train called, though? <laughs> oh, the, wow, uh... there is a train for me. Oh, the Gavily Pinkham Express. <laughs> yep, the Gavily yeah. Pinkham Express. That sounds good. You want to ride that? Time. Steady on. <laughs> <laughs> At what? I'm wow. innocent. <laughs> Just wow. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, Chris is r right behind G Star still, so. Let's have a quick look at penalties. So we've got three yeah. seconds for Ant, three for Bailey, three for Banstorp. Three for Chelsea, three for Ryan, and eight for Winky. Ant's just putting yeah. the fastest lap, so them tyres are clearly switched on and working. Yeah, those hard tyres do seem to be in a good window. Mark seems to be flying as well, because he's really been right on the back of Nick for a quite a while now, so... Those hard tyres definitely seem to be the ones to be on at the moment. They do seem to be coming a little bit better now. Oh, wow. Well, damn it. But oh, oh Bergen's at the moment. Bergen's right here with us. G star. Oh yeah, Bergen has had a big moment because he's got Nick's gone past as well, and now Mark is 
Right, ah, that somewhere. Side, I like your livery though. Thanks. That's <laughs> right. But you have got a certain someone sneaking up quite quickly behind you. Oh, he's not sneaky. I, I saw him in turn three and he was a little bit close on the braking on that. Yeah, I, I know he's there. Yeah, I was going to say. Making his presence known, is he? So oh, make, sure you use those, make sure you use those guys in front for DRS to keep you safe for a little while. <laughs> that is the aim, not going to lie. <clears throat> Difficult. Bergen's got a lot of pace on those hard tyres. And Nick's flying. He's doing really well. He does. Right. Bergen's already then, shaping him up. I missed the dynamites on the medium, so he's probably... Most likely to be naturally quicker. Yeah, he definitely is. He's looking very, very quick at the moment. But like Gab said, Gab said the mediums doesn't feel too great. So we shall see. I'm doing a very good defensive drive. You are. I've noticed that you and Van Stoff have been have playing a bit of argy bargy for a little while. Yes. So. Hodge looks a little bit twitchy there, which is possibly give Kid an opening. Uh, yeah, that that wasn't the only thing that twitched. <laughs> the Gavly Pinkham Express. That did. Pulled up at the, <laughs> Pulled up at the station. <laughs> I was going to say. I couldn't to say. Uh, well, why did we put Gav on driver comes? Because I've not I'm done it for a while. I missed what Gab just said. Hodge was, was, was having a twitchy moment because the Gabley Pinkham Express came in. <laughs> oh no. Um, anyway, Bergen is still that. <laughs> yeah, go on. No, I was going to say, I wonder how this barn door's going. Because I've got a floppy uh, loppy and uh, energy done. I don't know, but I think Hodge's just had a barn door open for a kid. Yeah, I uh, made a mistake in chapel, and uh, just it took me out of DRS and allowed kid to. <laughs> kid right, just went. Like, th Thank you. I think your new tactic should be follow kid, and you might win. I'm um, working on it. I'm trying to follow anybody, to be honest. Before they drive off into the sunset. <laughs> if you can follow kid, he, he, there's a good chance he's gonna win this race. Oh, so. Barn Storp's about to lose a place to Floppy. Oh, Floppy Lopey's in the action. They are side strategy. by side. It's working. He's just... Oh, Bandstorm's gone back through this side-by-side -side in the final corner. They're going to be side-by-side -side into turn one. Wow. Oh, no. He's kind of conceded it. Yeah, <clears> I think he got to a point where he kind of had to. So the Pink but... Express is now... We've got Lopey as the number one passenger. Energy Dance Ooh. just got past Bandstorm. Oh, Bandstorm spun. Oh... You gotta feel for him. He's driven great today, though, so far. He has. And to be so, fair, every time he's tried to pass me, he's tried something different. It's never been the same move twice. The bad dog yeah, got a little bit caught out by the wind, though. Yep. Yeah, he definitely did. I wonder if Chris can make any inroads on Ant here. It doesn't That's look it. like he is at the moment. So. Floppy, floppy Loppy is a very quick floppy. Yeah, he definitely is. But he's tier 2 for a reason, I guess. Yeah, but he's got a lot of speed in that car, so my defensive Ooh. barn stop. He's looking at every side of you at the moment. Bergen's trying to line up Nick at the moment. <sighs> Mr. Oh, Dynamite, 33-0, fastest lap. Oh, Gav got the oh, oh. How have they not come together? That was a, that was a wow. proper, oh, Winky's retired. Yeah, I, I think he, I've, uh, unfortunately, there. I think he's two laps down. Uh, yeah, that looks oh, like Oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 Oh, there's no way uh, for an entire lap. Is that a safety car? That's a VSC. Virtual. Yeah, VSC. Yeah, virtual, unfortunately. I don't like how this game doesn't tell you which one it is and you have to work it out for yourself. Uh, I'm not yeah. quite sure. Yeah. Mm. I think I may have just passed Barnstorp, but it didn't tell me to go back, so... And I'm still within my Delta. 
And guess who's just joined the Nick BT and Bergen battle? It's Mr. Dynamite. Dynamite. Yep, he's right there. Always. He's always there. You can't get rid of him, can you? Started P19, he's up to P6. <laughs> Rob, this race has been manipulated, man. So now we cut to Gavly Pinkham interviewing Gav about his crash. <laughs> now the VSC's over, we're back racing. <laughs> okay, we're back on green now. That, that interview was short. I'll carry on. It was. It was. <laughs> Maybe if you can give, give us a quick 10 second one while he's in the pit lane. G Star's just pitted. He has. I, I'm, wondering, I'm not surprised. I thought he would have come in earlier with how much he was struggling. I think he's tried to hang it out as long as possible. Try and make his strategy oh, work. Please don't say I'm French. Well, he is. <laughs> I don't he's lived, he he's lived there since three years old. Well, yeah, he's as good as French. Yeah, exactly. Mandy said Simba is definitely La La back to Teletubby chat. <laughs> <laughs> How has Teletubby chat become a thing? I don't know. I was questioning this when you were talking about it. So what tyres is Mr. Gav going to go for? I'm sure it's going to be the hards. It's the hards. Yep. Did you did you get some advice from Gavly Pinkham there? Yes. She whispered in my ear. She went, go hard, go hard. Oh, go home. <laughs> she did it. <laughs> go hard or go home. Exactly. And that's what I did. I put the hearts on. <laughs> oh, anyway. We moved to <laughs> Kid versus Bergen. Where are we next week, Miami? Who's leading this commentary again? Oh! I don't know! <laughs> I ain't got I've a clue lost anymore. I've track now. I've lost track of everything at this I'm, point. I'm leading the cameras. Oh, that's good. Oh! oh, oh the has gone! Big has gone. gone, yep. Same place Gav went. I need to stop going on board with people. Mr. Pinkham, or Mrs. Ah. Pinkham. Hello! Did someone oh. just have a spin? Yes, my Bergen, in the same place you did. The cockle picker. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he got distracted no, picking the cockles. Yeah. Uh -oh. Right, Energy Dan is right on the rear of G-Star in P10. Right, I'm going to hunt down Scott. Oh, no. Does he know? Nope. <laughs> It'll come as a surprise. He sure will win <laughs> <laughs> Pink him appears. It was just turn up going, Surprise, no. surprise! <laughs> surprise, surprise, Scott! Hello! I'm here! <laughs> oh my, you just made my dog bark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not a, another euphemism, Mr. Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, honestly, I think he heard Gav's Scottish accent and just started barking for no reason. <laughs> He's barking mad. Right. Ooh, Mr. Right. Bailey with the fastest lap. The mediums are definitely coming in now. Scott's I just got Scott's very scared. scared. Yeah, oh my god, we just had it in sync. Yeah. Yeah. Scott is scared, he got three seconds. Wouldn't you be scared yeah. if you had that chase in you? <laughs> that, that in front of me and I was scared. I'm well, scared because um, we've got it in the comms box. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what this is anymore. Ooh. Wait, when did Mark get a penalty? Oh, ages ago. I've already had another warning on top of that. Um, to be honest, I didn't even know a race was happening, so at this point, I'm surprised. I'm so a quick look at penalties. I've got a Frenchman behind me, about to lap me. So pretty much everyone that's got a penalty is three it's seconds. Like add French again. Yes, French onion soup. There's only Bandstop with six, everybody else is on three. Bandstop is Swedish. Oh! Oh, he's just that's done! That's because you spoke about him, you... 
You cursed him, Connor. I've done it enough today. I've done it to Mark, I think, twice already, so... I did it to Scott You're not even on leave well. comms, and you're still doing it. I don't need to be. All I have to do is say a name and click my fingers, and they're gone. That's it. <laughs> the Connor curse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Gav, how are you doing? <laughs> Oh, it's alright, you can't do anything to me that hasn't already happened. Oh, oh. I was watching really bad for <laughs> I went on board with Gav and he got three seconds. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it, it is a thing. I don't know if I like it or not, but I think I do. I see how kid's getting on and he's chased down of Nick. Chris is starting to make up time here on Ant as well. Yeah, he had the fastest lap in that one ago. Yeah, I think Chris is pushing. Chris has got a... no way that's not Chris. Chris has got no battery and has got 89% battery. That is unbelievable pace considering he's barely used any battery. Do you, know, do you know what we need right now? We need a safety car. No, we don't. Uh, only I can call them. It happened <laughs> in tier 4 and it came out 30 seconds later. But it was Scott that suffered, so I, no, it was Chelsea who suffered and Chelsea's racing, so it won't be me. Problem is, if we get a safety car, are we going to have safety car chat, Teletubby chat, Gavry I Pinkham chat? That could be when Gav could get interviewed about his crash. And mental yes. breakdowns for everyone. <laughs> I, I'm already scarred. How, how big is that dipstick on Dipsy's head? <laughs> He's mid-race. <laughs> How does it come what? up with this mid race? Be because, <laughs> because Dipsy is, functioning? Dipsy is green, and I was just passing the Rolex sign, and I just I instantly. Was hoping to say, I was hoping to say, I saw grass, and then yeah, <laughs> that's what made me just say, well, it. I no, saw grass. The, the Rolex, the Rolex sign's quite big, it stands tall and proud. I just. <laughs> <laughs> is it too late to quit? <laughs> yes. Yep. Is it past that point? Yes. Yep. <laughs> Your deadline was nine o'clock yesterday. I've yeah. got a headache now. Um, hey, yeah, anyway, I, Reece, I tried to quit. I'm still here. Yeah. He did. You're not wrong there. But Johnny Smoove is on a old set of mediums. I'm surprised that the guys on 17 up on mediums, their tyres must be going off now. I Tell think we'll what. do mid twenties, no problem. The band Doll's getting himself a nice train going here. He is considering he's spun like three or four times. He's doing well to still be in that level. And he's got B seventeen right round. behind him. Then Reese right behind there. Fanning's quickly catching up as well. Oh, Chelsea's in the wall. <sighs> Just Man recovered it. Mandy now. says, "Can we have a Sean Connery impression?" Oh yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, my name is Bond. James Bond. Miss Moneypenny, you look ravaging tonight. Shall we go to the theatre? And I will show you my gold finger. <laughs> oh. oh, who's that just spun? I have no B idea. <laughs> He can't go with it. the comms. <laughs> I've forgotten about it now. It's like <laughs> swiftly I think at moving this point, on. The race is just um, anyway. Yeah, Bergen seems to be catching up to Cal quite well, so we'll keep an eye on that for now. He does. As Bergen spun, it? oh yeah, he did spin again. He went in the same wall as Gav did, didn't he? Yeah, although he, he didn't seem to lose a wing on like Gav. Yeah, he missed the wall. He went early in the last corner. Um, I was a bit behind him. At that point, <clears throat> and then uh, yeah, he uh, managed to miss it and get back on track. Although I'm confused, what his name is? Is it Gav? Is it Nunu? -nu? Is it Gavly Pinkham? Mm, no, 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 no. Oh. That is what he does when he's about to spin. Gav goes no, 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 no. Literally. <laughs> so you just need to change that to no, 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 no. Yeah, literally, and then that's it. No, 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 no. Sorry, I'm not spinning yet. 
Ja, jeg må være fint, så spændende er det godt. Ja, nej. Så går jeg ikke nu med dem quickly. Og just get on board with them. <laughs> If Nick, I spin, I'm coming to hunt you down. Nick BT's pitted. I wonder if that's getting towards the end of the mediums now. This is where you're meant to spin by purpose to make it look real. Yeah, but I'm, <laughs> I'm coming for Scott. So, I can't. You're gonna need to... Looks like a schedule would stop on to hards. So I'm guessing the mediums are starting to get towards the end of the life. Yeah, I think so. We're only on lap 21, so that's a long time. Yeah, that gap between Chris and Anthony's gone back up as well. So... It's gonna be a long... The kid's in P3 now. Long old stint on them hards, that's like 40 laps. Yeah, it definitely is. Let, let's hope Pirelli haven't done what they did in 2020 and got the estimates wrong. Or we're going to be puncturing a law later in the race. We'll have people finish on three wheels again. Three wheels on my wagon. Yeah. But... Banstock pitted, Alorp is pitted. Yeah, I think we're going to see a lot of them now. I think it's Chris might want to get in quite quickly because he's got kid fast. He is, he's pitting now. Yeah, Chris is literally coming in now, yeah. See, I'm, everyone's so predictable. See what like kid's doing. Move. Kid's staying out, so I wonder if he's actually alright for now. Either that or he's just gone, right, I'm just going to do the opposite to Chris. Oh. Someone's lost it in turn one or two. Let's go and have a look. It's a barn door! It is the barn door, because Gav is now past him, and so is Scott, so... We can see this battle getting between Gav and... Bad oh, no, Bad Stop still hasn't got that going yet. Hodge is now up to third. Yeah, <laughs> but haven't pitted yet. Oh, Barn Stop's gone. Oh, hit. he's gone back in... Yeah. Yeah, he's... I'm, uh, I'm just... Took it along. I feel like I'm doing time trial, because I'm just on my Todd. That's probably doing, sometimes the, the best word. But, yeah, I'm just kind of... Uh, it still doesn't help when I still make mistakes and still miss a braking zone because of my tyres and things, but, uh, you know, still doing reasonable, steady lap times and consistent, and it doesn't help that everyone's quicker than me doing those. Hey-ho. It can be a little boring, but you can also drive your own race. There's no pressure there. Oh, I'm still looking at Bergen's space behind now, he's got past Carl and thinking, okay, he's knocked that down by a second and a bit, so that needs to be, uh, get my wiggle on. Yeah, I think, I think you're going to be alright for now, though, because you're on the same tyres, so. Oh, yeah, but I've had two other warnings, so I'm close to a, another penalty. Kid okay, Dynamite's Mr. still staying out. Did Gavin just have a moment? You're never alone, and you always have a moment on the Gadley Express. Well, we didn't hear no, 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 no. So <laughs> it, it wasn't a proper moment. I just had a little, uh, a little drift. I think I've raced with Gav enough to know now that when, when there's something happening, because we get the sound effects. Well, to be fair, it was probably the the best sound effect ever was Hungary. <laughs> <laughs> is Scott not actually in this race? Because his car's ghosted. Oh, is it? Is he getting lapped, though? Well, it's now called it's back. Not, it's not ghosted on my screen, so I'm wondering if it was... Was he getting lapped, potentially, by Ant? Yeah, he was. Ant was going past him, that'll explain it. Ant is just in front of ghosted track, for a long time. Yeah, it did, but... I want to catch him up as well. The gap's 9.6. It yeah, has come down by about a second in like three laps though. Yeah, I mean when I came out after I spun after the pits it was about <laughs> 14 seconds so it has come down. Let's go Mandy, through you liked your impression of Sean Connery by the way. Who did? Mandy did, she liked ah, it. She said it was as good as your Dalek one. Exterminate! Daleks have no concept of elegance! <laughs> well. Outline resembles the inferior in. species known as Cybermen. Yeah. Ah, Dynamite Spit is. Yeah, yep, he is. He is in. I'm guessing he'll go for the hearts to the end, but. 
Well, is he going to come out? Anywhere near Chris. Well, it's a bit quieter. I'm going to have a look through what the liver is. So we've got Ant with his very pink. Hodges is a nice liver. I love the blue on it. Yeah, it's nice. Bergen's obviously I do like. Yeah, his is very different as well. Said that earlier, I really do like that one. Yeah, he's done a good job there. Carl's we said earlier was quite good, especially with the helmet that ties in as well. I will say Chris's is very similar to Mark's, just with a slightly different shade of blue. Yeah, we did notice that. It's like we're inadvertently teammates again tonight. It's like F2 yeah. all over. We just had teammates, but slightly different cars. Slightly different liveries. Hold on, let I me think start he's gone a bit more red, where like I've Gav gone a bit did. white. <laughs> I'll start reading out the sponsors in a minute, like Gav did, to tell the difference. <laughs> G-Star, I think maybe missed the memo. Yeah, I think, yeah. Oh, Ryan's be... out! No, oh, Ryan! Is that gonna be a safety, oh, safety, it's a car. safety car? It's a full oh, safety as well. I wanted that! This is excellent news. If Not that Ryan's us, out, but... If it gives us some better camera angles, so we've got Nick with that standard St. George's looking livery. Yeah. Kid obviously missed the memo and forgot to make one. And the Duracell battery. Reese's is quite nice. Yeah, it's got the very tiniest tinge of blue on the rear. Yeah, it's more like a St. George's, but he's got the bit of blue in there as well. Yeah. Fanning's obviously got his Jamaican, but he was a last-minute call-up. Yeah, so, so he, he won't have had time to make anything. E17s is really nice. I do like that. Yeah, that's that splashed-looking livery. It's also got a spl splodge of yellow on it. So, yeah. lop has got that standard St George's-looking one. Johnny yeah. Smooth. I haven't actually seen Johnny Smooth all race. His is nice as well. Good job. Energy down. Yeah. So that's Good. a nice, that's a nice take on it as well. I like how it's mostly red at the front. I don't know why I like that, but I do. Scott. Let's see Scott's actually. Wow, Scott's is very different. I really like Scott's. Yeah, it's gone for majority white, but it's still got the colours on there that we wanted, and it's a good job. I tell you something, he's he's got some dirt on that car. The Gavlar, who's barely got any red at all. Eh, uh, I've got elements of red. Yeah. Yeah, tiny. Wow, you've bit. got you've got actually. Gen yeah, I see what Mark means. Uh, but there's red. Yeah. Bandstorp, who's majority red by the looks of it. Yeah, but he's gone with the right. His is nice as well. It looks like a Coca-Cola card. And thing. Chelsea, who I think missed the memo as well. Unless the Queen's worn a army green dress. Ryan's she was, what? Ryan's was pretty nice as well. Yeah, his was very nice. So go on then, Connor. Whose would you pick as your favourite? Do you know what? Funnily enough, I was going to say Ryan's. I really like Ryan's. I like the the shades of red and blue he used. Yeah, it's definitely so, a good yeah. choice. Uh, that would have been mine. And I saw it in pictures and media as well, so... Yeah, I remember it from pictures and media. It was a good one, was that? Yeah. I think but personally, we could get honourable mentions though. I think I'm going to go with Bergens. Yeah, Bergens would have been one, at probably second or third. I really like B17s as well. I'd say. But yeah, yeah no, I, that's a close second. Is B17s. Yeah, don't forget, a lot of these are going to be featured uh, on our Instagram page after this race as well. Yep, it's always it's always good to see the creative side of the league as well as the actual, you know, racing and... But then that's usually what X is for, but then we get our off-season moments and we get to hold these events. So, obviously this one's for a celebratory slash unfortunate reason, but... Like celebrating the life, but yeah, it's letting people get the creativity out, but with a theme to it this time. 
Yeah. Rather than like one it's, it's to pay tribute and to pay homage to arguably one of, if not the probably greatest leader in the modern age, you'd have to say. Well, probably yeah. the most famous person to ever live, arguably. Well, yeah, so. like I say, in the modern age, if, without a doubt, I think. Yeah. Uh, the if legacy gets... that she will leave behind and, and what she's seen as well and uh, what she's kind of the best term is assisted with and had influence over in in the past 76 years uh, can to be fair there's probably no words to describe it I would have to there say there isn't any I don't think but I think like the way to look at it is probably 90% of this country have lived the entirety of her reign. Yes. And to put when you put it that way is like, okay, wow. You know. You you also just need to think. Five point one billion people watched her funeral. That's Which what I mean. That's like, oh, that like, ooh. Scott's Shouldn't just been disqualified. Like a quarter of the world's population. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, there he is. He's uh, in a wall and he had turned three. Um, and I don't know if he just didn't get moving at all, so he's now yeah, disqualified. Oh, he's, he's had a nightmare, unfortunately, Scott, because I was actually looking forward to seeing him on track. Yes. Yeah, he, uh, I was looking forward to the battle between him and Gav, if I'm being honest. I know! I've been deprived! Yeah. I've been waiting for that for the entire time. <laughs> and now it's just been robbed. I, I feel another Pinkham interview coming on at some point. Oh, oh she'll, feeling, she'll, she'll find him. It could. No, the field's still. No, I think they'll catch that. I think it could come in this lap. If Scott was listening to us, and of course he, he needed an interview to explain himself, then I've got the girl for you. <laughs> Scott could quite easily just join it. We could. You could. You oh, yeah, could, you could yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So if you're watching, join us because we've got a certain woman that wants to um, ask you a few questions. Yes. I'm just going to have to battle with these 17 instead. Yeah. And then, I mean, Fanning's only what? Two cut. Three cards <gasps> on the road, so. Fanning, I'm coming for you! I think you and Fanning's on the prowl. No, oh, she is. Inside. As he's side by side, it's going to be surprise, surprise. Oh, what? oh there's Chelsea. Hello, Chelsea. Hello. Is Chelsea a lap down? Uh, yes. Yeah, I thought so. And then Van Storp falls. Oh, Van Storp's mowing the lawn. <laughs> oh, and I get the illegal overtake for him for being off the track. Even though he's a lap down anyway, so I'm not sure why you've been I'm giving him that. He's not going to pass as well, so I got given five seconds for when he was off the track. What a great game we have! Well done, oh, no, Code Masters. Five seconds. That's what, what I mean. Happened? Legal overtake. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth? What was that? <laughs> Wait a minute. Sorry, uh, I mean, hold on. Welcome, hold welcome on. Connor, to MRC. <laughs> yes. This which, is how we operate. We're twenty-eight Wait, laps into a glitches. <laughs> we're twenty-eight laps into the race. Welcome. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That woke me up. Also well, had qualifying, right. in case you didn't Lofty know. Boy. No, I. Yeah, I've lost all bearings at this point. But that's. There's, there's still. I'm surprised safety car didn't come in because the whole field is together. Yes. I think it'll be in this lap. Hope. You would think Hopefully. So, that's for sure. That will give us 24 laps of racing. Ooh. As I said, at least we're over half distance now. That's a good thing. Yeah. My goodness, my shoulder is killing me. It wasn't that long ago. You drove a previous 100% as well, was it? <laughs> Portugal! Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, that was good. Oh! How, how, how have I managed to overtake Johnny Smooth? No, oh, five oh, seconds he... is coming for Gab. Wait for it. Two no, in no, 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 Make your mind up, boys. No, do you know what it was? I, I think he got a little bit quick. Oh, I, I got mean... a very quick flash uh, on the top of the uh, the screen. Uh, something to do with lapped cars, and it was very strange, but now it's disappeared very quickly. Same so 
I really got excited thinking you was going to say wet weather then, Mark. Wow. I was like, yes, it's going to rain, and then broke my heart. <laughs> no, he was having flashbacks thinking Michael Massey was in charge. Oh, crikey. This safety car restart's a bit spread. I that. Is this a gap restart? They yeah, are it driving feels like so it. I'm not gonna lie, it really does feel like it. No, I've it's too ghost. fast to be Gabby's driving at 30 miles per hour. It's too fast to be <laughs> Oh, Cray. He's you gone already. Wow, that is super early. But he has caught Chris napping. Ooh, he can only... I think he's more than napping. Yeah, you could say that. He's like 1.4 seconds back. Oh, and he's had a right moment coming out of the final corner. Which has been now putting 1.7 back. Yeah, it has. And it's just like, yeah. yeah, see you later. I'll have a bit of that. Two seconds he's pulled on him already. I wonder if Chris is struggling with tyre warm-up. Because he's on the hards where his ants on the mediums. Yeah, you would think so. And Chris has got Nick BT for company. Right, let's see. Kids one and a half back off that battle. Reese is definitely going to have to pit again. Hodge is sniffing over the back of Dynamite. He is fast in a straight line, though. Just be careful he doesn't explode. <laughs> yeah, true. We don't need any firecrackers. <laughs> oh, Burger's just got a three second penalty. Oh. Mm, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> you left Gav speechless for the first time ever. No, E17 just had a little bit of a rear end moment. Yeah. Oh, you two are right together though. And then Dan's just in front. He is, and Fanning's just in front of that, so... We've got a little train. It's good to see all everyone bunched back up together, other than Ant, who's pulled... Over gap. three seconds already. Yeah. That's a mental gap. I think he might be looking at a tier one reserve moving forward. <laughs> I think Cal's trying to reignite his Mr. Defense title. Yeah, I took that earlier. Someone's just gone really wide. I think Fanning has just gone super wide on the exit of four. <coughs> oh, jeez. Oh, Reese has had to look at G-Star and there was contact, I think. It certainly looked that way. It was very close, that is for sure. But Don't want to be any missing end plates or anything, so that's all right. Oh, no. We're going to see Carl G-Star side. No. I, oh, we might. No, he's backed out of it. I thought we were going to see them side by side as cops then. Oh, Reese has got so much grip on those softs at the moment, though. He is practically pushing G-Start. Nick's just go three back. seconds. He is. I think we're going to see a double overtake from Reese. He's trying he's to find to the a outside way. They're free wide. Oh, he had to back out, but he's gone up the inside of Carl, and so is G-Start, so they're both through. Are they? No. Oh, Cole's still there. Look at him. He's still going. He's still fighting. But I think G's... Oh, Cole! Had a big twitch. Oh, and it's just Fanning's lost out to Lopi and Fanning as well. Fanning's just gone full Hamilton at Ron Perez and Leclerc there. Let's head back up towards the front because it looks like Bailey's starting his own train with Nick and Kid. And Mark's not much adrift to that. Yeah, I'm dropping back a little bit. Bergen's now on me, and I think it's yes. Yeah, that'll do. Bye, Bergen. Doodles. Yeah. Bergen is. So that was a good little move from Bergen. That's so. what I said. Oh, Mark's hung it around the outside. I thought you was going for a move around the outside then. I actually did try the switch back and then decided I was going to get a three second penalty instead. Ah. Uh, kid, though, if he can dispatch of Nick and Chris. He's the only one without penalties in the top seven. So, 
if he can dispatch these guys quickly, he could still win this if he can get on. Because Ant's tyres are going to be off towards the end. To be fair, it was about. It came out about a, two, three laps before. Like, my Delta was telling me that I was going to put on my strategy, and then a couple of laps behind the safety car won't have helped, and there will be life, you think, at, on the yeah. mediums by the end. Yeah, you're not wrong. It, it should be. He should be okay, but. I still think, obviously, come from that point in the race, I think the hard will probably still be better. And we've seen how hard, how well the hard worked early on in the race. Cursed, oh, kid. Just got... You cursed, You cursed him. Oh, no. That was simple. Give the oh, lead kid. back to Mark. <laughs> God, to save everybody. To save people. <coughs> Dan and Baldy are having a go. It doesn't anyway, matter whether he's leading or co he just he speaks, everybody gets doomed. <laughs> anyway, back on board with Mark. Let's watch <laughs> Jake it. That's fine. It's alright, like, because nah, Mark's not on my screen. <laughs> doesn't matter. It it doesn't matter. I'm just cursing anyone that I see, to oh, be honest. Uh, although he is now, because I want to have a look at his car again. Oh, Dan and Baldy Baldy going round. Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, they are side by oh, side. Oh, oh that, that was a bit twitchy. Yeah, but you got two that, swannings in one gonna, corner. Come on. I was going to say, you've only just... Uh, that's a bit weird. Surely that's a bit... Oh, the contact! Oh, oh, Baldy and Dan have gone! Wow, that was huge contact. That was how what must happen. Well, it, just it won't because neither, neither, neither of them ended up in the wall. Yeah, but they, yeah. Neither of them DNF, but that was very reminiscent of it. That's for sure. Wow. Oh. Gav got front row seat for that. I did. I seen it. They were doing some Strictly Come Dancing. It's probably the only one who has got footage because I went on board with either of them. They went synchronised spinning. They did. You can but, cut that footage out later. I'll have a look at that. <laughs> I mean, I wish I was recording now. That would have been insane to watch. I had the helicopter view of that. It was... wow. Record past footage. I could do that. But oh, I think Nick's gonna make a move. No, he's not. I thought he was gonna as well. He was having a little look, wasn't he? And Kids just sat there like, yeah, I'm waiting to pick up the pieces. But then Bergen's joining the back of that battle now. Fanning's also just made a move on Lorpy. But Lorpy's come back at him. They're side by side. Is Chris creating a bit of a train here for his um, <coughs> tier one teammate? Yeah, I wonder. Who's currently the only thing on. Is it... Yeah. He's on the faster compound currently. Issue is, though, with Chris there, it's not going <coughs> to help both them because it's just a DRS train, isn't it? So. Well, it's at least helped him catch up. Yeah, no, that, you're not wrong in that respect. Mark's also there as well. He's no, he's not. Back he's no, just you're not. coming on to the no, back of it. No, he's not. Don't I'm just going back to my time trial. I'm going to be Todd. <laughs> I mean, it's good fun. At least you've been some quality laps. I want to see a purple lap from you now. <laughs> okay. Sorry, what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. He said he's time trialing, so I want to see a purple lap. Oh, sorry. I thought you said something else. <laughs> <laughs> calm down. Calm down. Calm down, calm down! Oh, that's an interesting battle coming up soon if Gab can make up some time and it could be in yeah. his car. Let's go have a look at the Lopey Fanning car lot one. Yeah, then. See if Fanning can make any moves on Lopey. Yeah, we've got four cars there, which Gab's now approaching as well, but we've got Lopey Fanning oh. car. That is. Gonna be closed, so it's for sure. Chelsea got three seconds, but I think Chelsea yeah he's a lap down. So. I thought Fanning were making the move then. Yeah, I thought he backed out of it though, and he probably was right to do so because I do think they would have probably been coming together otherwise. And he's got a brilliant exit out of the field though onto the old pitch straight. He has. Is he gonna? Surely he's not. No. No, no, no yeah. side by side in cops action, please. Honestly, I've just seen it and I'm like even more terrified for everyone that goes through there side by side. I still remember when we went through there side by side. 
<laughs> and then oh, should I say, tried to. <laughs> we both yeah. went, no, we choose life. And then Genie went, yeah, see you both. That is the first time I've ever broken cops. <laughs> like, I actually broke. Now Fanning's got him in stir. Can he make yeah, it stick, though? Slope is really hanging on. Yeah, he seems to have got that covered for now. But Cal's hanging right onto the back of that. He is, Carl is right there as well. Let's have a look up front, because Bergen is still hanging on the back of Kid. Who's hanging on the back of Nick, who's hanging on the back of Chris Bailey. I'd love to know what wings Chris is running, because he's managing to keep these guys behind. Oh, Nick is having a little look. Chris went a bit deep. Energy yeah. down in all three seconds. Yes. <coughs> but yeah, Chris seems to have some really good straight line speed. Although Nick's yeah. really, really hanging on through cops. I think Nick is really now trying to find the best place to make the move because you can see him like looking at the angles on each corner. Well, if he, if he can really hang things. on here, which he is doing. He should have a good run down to Stirl, though he lost a bit on the exit of Beckett's into Chapel. I think this is but going to be Nick's he's gaining, moment. He's gaining, he's gaining, he's gaining. Chris has made him go around the outside, and it's not happened. Oh, but he's coming back to him on the switchback, but he's going to have the outside line, that's the issue. Yeah, you've got to really hang it there to get the inside for the next one, which ain't yeah, easy to do. And kids there trying to sniff a bit of action. You know who's loving this though, and look at him, 7.1 Yeah, it's just like, yeah, you guys out. keep battling, I'm running away. Yeah, he's loving this. Loving life out front currently. I bet if you're these guys, and Chris, all of these guys in this train, I bet you're all really annoyed because it's just making the wind sort of slip away from you. Nick's just had another look at Chris though. Has he got in this time? Oh, he's, he's going to have the inside for Luffield. But Chris is really late on the brakes. So he's going to get a better exit. But Chris is out of ERS as well. He's flashing away like mad. Don't Nick get too excited, Gav. I think... I don't know why... I'm wondering if Chris's setup maybe just doesn't suit the hard tyres. Oh, there was a bit of contact there going into Maggots. There was. And he's hanging on a lot better this time. I'm wondering if, it, if we could see a double here from Kid, because look at how close to the rear he is of Nick. Oh, he's going he's through the wide. middle of him! He is, he's just gone through like he's absolutely nothing. He's on. What wow. a move! I said that, I saw his exit and I was like, this is going to be Chris, uh, this is going to be Kid's moment. Well he's done, not. that was one hell of a move. That was, he's not going to be able to catch Ant though, is he? Oh, sure though. Although Nick's sure. really hanging on, he's not letting him go yet. The Fanning, Carl and Loppy battle, wow. They're just ding-donging. Ant spun! Oh he has! He's down in fifth! Kid is now leading! Oh wow! I don't know if he just wanted to have a bit of fun though. But Nick's clinging on like mad, but he's just Nick's got another three seconds. seconds yeah. But he's got the DRS, he's going to have him. Let's have a look at I've penalties. I've just realised though, Nick's penalties. Nine Ooh. seconds as opposed to three for Kid, so Kid only needs to stay within six seconds of him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm there a second behind Carl, so I'm starting to join their little battle. You've been, I've been seeing that gap come down, but that's now a four-way battle for ninth place. Oh, Chris is really on the back of Kid here. Oh, as Connor would say, he's up his chuff. Woo! He is. But I'm just going to watch this quickly it's, between Lorp and Cunning and Carl and Gav. It's getting quite cloudy. Yeah, the sun's gone again. It's, it's, well, it's mm. not gone gone, but you're right, it is a little bit. I'm yeah. back to, I'm back to doing my rain dance. Up. Yeah, let's start dancing again. Come on, that big, this would be the end of the trace so spicy, wouldn't it? With 15 laps to go, we just we get a bit of rain in the last 10. Although Reese is <laughs> praying for it, he's got 12 laps softs on. Yeah. He's literally. not making it to the end, is he? No, surely not. 
Even though his pace seems still seems really strong. Because the fact that he's right with these guys and they're 13 laps old. Says quite a bit. Well, the lower fuel will help. You're not going to do grid quite as fast, but I don't see him making another 14 laps out of them. Because you've still got Ant and Mark right in this battle as well, so... We've literally got seven cars within the space of about... Three seconds? Three seconds, yeah. So... Let's have a quick look. I think his G Star's a bit too far back because he's got no penalties. But it is within just, three seconds. Right. Mark is 2.7 behind no, Nick. I mean of the of like the leaders and stuff, but yeah, G Star's got it was G Star because he's got no penalties. G Star's 6.7 behind Nick. So yeah. at, the, at the moment, G Star's going to jump Nick. Yeah, he is. That's how much his penalties are going to affect him. Yeah, for sure. Lorpy, no, he's way too far back at the moment, but... <clears throat> the hard tyres are definitely probably the best working tyres in this race, though. Mediums at the but... minute don't feel too bad. Um, I think the Sards did come into the run after quite a lot of laps, and then they started to feel okay. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think the delta is very small between them. I would have to say. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. Have part of yeah, go on. Sorry. No, I was going to say that the hard just works and feels so much better than the medium. Yeah, no, I agree with that 100%. It was just the pace Ant showed early on those hards was unbelievable. Like, really unbelievable so but then I think maybe again cooler temperatures are probably helping hard tyres but who knows nobody knows even codemasters don't know yeah I don't yeah that's a very good point I mean but come I on just love the fact that, they can bring out yeah. new tracks but they can't fix the sound glitch has that still not been fixed I don't know because I've only ever had it once. Uh, I had it once. I think it was in. I can't remember which track. I think it was Australia. I had it. Oh, there we go. Reese is in, lads. Yeah, I'm not surprised. And he's got a five second penalty for speeding in the pit lane as well. That's just going <laughs> to go from <laughs> oh, bad to worse. Oh, what happened to Mark? He spun, uh, spun out the last final corner. corner. Oh. Really random. But hey ho. It wasn't my race anyway, I didn't have the pace and uh, it's a popular I know there's ballet to spot, take is that? off, but hey ho, it is what it is. That's a few cars that have gone there now though, it's caught a few people out. The burger, and I think it was stop was in, wasn't it? No, Gab, sorry, it was Gab who got, who got caught there, so... Yeah, it's Gab lost his win there. Doing that. 25 laps Gab's made on them hards now. Yeah, they'll do, well, I've got, that's, that'd be good, that'd I've be good to finish with. I think it's, but it's doable. The, Reese has gone into a fresh set of softs. Yeah, the, that makes sense though, he'll get to the end on them, but... The front wing of Gabs looks at, so muddy. I don't know why I'm pointing that out, but it really does. Spent most of his time mowing grass. <laughs> his side pods need a bit of a clean as well. But They do? Let's... So uh, I'm sure Nunu will clean it afterwards. <laughs> I wonder if Team kids actually going to have a problem. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, I was going to say, it's now interesting to see whether anyone decides to make a late pit stop for softs, because if you're going to do it, you kind of have to do it this lap, because the time loss is huge. I don't think you'll see any of the top five do it, because they're all within a second of each other. I don't think anybody's mm. going to bother unless we get a safety car. Yeah. Oh my god, did you just say the famous words? Everybody seems to be on... Oh, Max paid. Well, hey, as well, I've got loads of penalties. I've got, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just whatever. Everybody <laughs> seems to be on about a st strategy with tyres where they can make it to the end. So unless yeah. we get insert famous words, everybody should make it to the end. Safety car. 
Calm down, yeah. calm down. <laughs> We're gonna see a battle of Mark and Reese of who can make it further up the field on top. Oh, they're both behind me. I can have a wee battle. Oh, Johnny Smooth's pitted as well. He has. I'm I suppose he's be... nothing to lose from 14th. No. I mean, he's only going to lose one go. position at most. The safety car came out now. None of those guys would mind too much because they'd have a fresh pair of softs on. And... Energy Down's coming in as well. And Band Stop's that far behind. Then neither of them are going to lose out. Yeah, I think Band Stop's are that down, isn't he? I believe so. Yeah, I think he is. Check gap to lead. Uh, he's 127 behind the leader. So, yeah, it's hazard a guess he is. No, it's about a one quality lap to 128, so it might actually be not quite. I seem to tell you. Um, no, he doesn't look like he is. He's just been lapped by somebody because he was ghosted. Yeah. Oh, the gav's paid. Mm hmm. I thought we were going to see side by side with Mark and Gav. The Pinkham yeah. is in the pit lane. He's going on to the softs. He's gone soft for me. <laughs> oh, Live up to date reporting there from Gavly Pinkham. <laughs> He's literally in the garage. I saw her waving at you. Yes. An on track Ted's just got his head in his hands going, why? Yep. But he's made it ahead of Pinkham. The Gav's gone massive between Gav and Mark there, actually. They're not that far apart. Yeah, Mark about four seconds. Donking out that. In, yeah, out that. But he's got a lot of time to I make up to those in front, though. I think uh, Nick might be alright to G-star now. Just about. Cause, yeah, he should be pretty much okay to him. Depends if G-Star turns it on later in the race. Yeah, that's very true. It could be currently in the graining phase and then turn it on for the last few laps. Yeah, I wonder if Kid's going to make a move on Nick. He doesn't need to, but... but... He's going to want to, though. He's a racer. He wants to win it on track. I can't believe that we could have actually just seen another last to first from Kid. He wasn't quite last to first, it was 19th he started. Well, it's as good as, let's be honest. He was the last classified qualifier because obviously Scott got the DSQ. But. Oh, is... the last time we did a Silverstone 100%, didn't he actually overtake Sarge on the last lap? Yes. Yeah, he did. I remember that. That was ludicrous. Because it was me and you on comms, Pinkham. Yes, it was. And it was the final two laps or something where it all just kicked off. I think yeah. this could be it. Sam's so thinking going. he had it won and all of a sudden, a <laughs> kid appears. Yeah. Right. Hi! Hi. <laughs> Taking the lead. Can he keep it for the... Oh, he's had enough for look though, has Nick. Oh, he's trying the Hamilton little... He's gone for the switch. I think he's made yeah, it work there's... as well. No way they're going to be side by side into turn one. Hey, that's brave. That's they some brave work. It. Oh. oh, there goes... Is that Chris? I think it is, yeah. I think Bergen's oh. just got Chris. <coughs> Hey, this is some brave driving. And is also right there as well. And Nick's just got Kid again. He has, I think, Ant's just got Chris. Chris has gone wide. Yeah. Well, no, Chris is back in front. <coughs> oh, yeah, I think Ant... The cars look that similar, it's hard to tell. Yeah, I know, it's catching me off guard big time here. But now... Kids having to defend from Bergen. Penalties is 
I'll tell you what though, if Kid got three more seconds, Bergen could look okay for the win, but it all goes by how close Kid is to another penalty. So that was some great racing from all five drivers there. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh here comes Gavin Kid. Just drops a place. He He's does. back into the lead, but Nick's, not, Nick, Nick's still fighting it. He's not letting this he one is. go just yet. I think there's an honour of winning this on track. They're certainly putting on a show for us. Oh, Nick got oh, a bit lazy and went really wide nice. there. At least we're not going to see side by side into turn one again. There's only so many times you can get away with that. Energy down's out. Oh, is that pit lane? <coughs> uh, looks that way, yes. Another oh, penalty for Nick. Chris and Bergen side by side. Chris Bergen keeps it. Wow, Bergen's getting really defensive on the straight. Yeah, they're not teammates tonight, though. They're not, that is for sure. I think Reese's thought the, planning may have They're both on identical penalties as well, so... Whichever yeah, one that, takes that it, is, takes it. That is the position. I think all three of these drivers... Well, both of those drivers will definitely be wanting to clear Nick, just because... If Kid wants to get another penalty, those two could really... Yeah, they could Take come into play if they can actually get near him. Although, Ant's having a go at Chris. He is round right the outside. Oh, oh no! Out. That's Chris round. Oh, that's such a shame. Which means he now loses <laughs> out to G-Star as well. Yeah, he does. He'll be on a bit of a fight back now. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see if Chris can get G-Star back by the end, but the issue is G-Star has no penalties, so... Only six Definitely. laps to go now. The camera angles they give us at this track are awful. Let's move back up towards well, the front, see if Bergen can... or Ant can make moves on Nick. Yeah, I think Kid's starting to check out a little bit now. Starting to get that gap up. Bergen yeah. and Nix is just kind of hovering. Bergen needs to get a move on because he's got Ant on the back of him. He has, and we've seen how quick Ant is in a straight line as well. And at the minute, he doesn't have DRS from Nick in front either, so he's going to be vulnerable. And Ant has had a great run. He's going to have him before they even get halfway down the straight. Or is he? Bergen's still there. Oh, I thought there was going to be a rinse with Pete of Ant and Chris then. That was very close. Well, we know Bergen's not going to give up. No, that is for sure. But Ant is now... He's also in the DRS of Nick now, so... Can he post a late charge to Kid? Well, Ant's first target's gonna be Nick. Yeah, it definitely is. Just to pose any challenge to Kid, he's got to get past Nick and try and get on to him. Yeah. Because the the one identical penalty, so he's going to have to do it on track if he wants to beat Kid. Yeah, he definitely is. But look at the tire grip Ant has there. But he might even get him on the run down to Cops here, you know. Well, the Bergen's still looking strong. Uh, G Star's still looking strong for a possible podium here. Because yeah, Bergen's he got is. six seconds, he's only five point eight behind. Nick's going to drop off the podium completely. Yeah, G-Star's doing just about enough at the minute. And um, what's helping G-Star is these guys are fighting reasonably hard to have by lap, so... If Ant's going to get him, he's got to get him now, otherwise Kid's going to pull that too far away. He's had a look! Can he make it stick though? Oh, Fanning's out! 
Yeah, that looks like exit a Luffy safety, car. safety car. Full safety car. Oh. That wasn't good what I just saw, but. Nick's in, Bergen's in, G Star's in. Um. Surely Chris is in, yeah, Chris is in. I think we'll probably see majority come in. Yeah, I think they all will come in at this point. You know, you know the guy that's laughing right now though, don't you? Mr. G Star. Yeah, because he's really going to be up there now. Kid's going to have to really, really scamper away on this restart. He is, he's going to have to play it really smart. thing is, him and Ant both missed the pit lane on there because they're already passed. And they're now and stuck the behind the safety is, car as well. Yeah, Kid is now locked it. He virtually has no choice but to. He's got to stay out, and so does Ant. Are, they're both going to lose track position majorly. <clears throat> Yeah, because they're not close enough to pit lane to actually come in now. <laughs> and Nick, exactly Bergen, so. G-Star, they're all gaining. <clears throat> yeah, they are. I know you're about half the time under safety cars for pit lane time, but it's that time's dropping rapidly. Oh, yeah, there's, there's not a chance kids get in there. Brandon and they go full speed as well because now because they're catching the queue that Kid is currently the head of. So, but there's going to be an interesting last couple of laps for sure. But uh, let's see. Oh, Chris got three seconds on the safety car. Oh, no, never know. Yeah, I, I got a triple warning on one corner. <coughs> well done, F1. You never fail. Cease to amaze me. Oh. Oh, I should be back in a second. So, how many penalties are you on now, Mark? <laughs> uh, 12. 12. So, you've served a couple at least in the pit. Yeah, I've served so, five. So. Uh, which I had to do earlier, but you know, it's one of those that look, we're not here for tears or anything for points, it's here supposed to be for fun. Um, you know, for, we're here for course. a reason as a tribute, so it's yeah, I'm disappointed, I'm very, very disappointed to be honest, um, with how this race has gone for me, but hey ho, it is what it is, just gotta see it out to the end now. I think the one positive you gotta look at is like. Without that one mistake, you'd be right there, right now, in that top five. You know? Oh, yeah. But they had like, a lot more pace today. today. They were uh, very, very quick. Um, Reese was rapid, Dan went rapid. Uh, Bergen, unbelievably quick. And, yeah, Sean, without that mistake, I think he would be about 20 seconds ahead. Um, so those guys have driven a fantastic race so far. And, uh, you know, credit to where it's due for them. Yeah, I think sometimes you just got to take your hat off to certain people, haven't you? And just accept that they are that much quicker. How about you, oh, yeah. Gav? Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, I'm on 18 seconds of penalties. I've just driven a race. I think you get to that point, as Mark said, you're not you're not fighting for a championship position or points. Yeah. So no, it's good. I've enjoyed it. A fair few battles. You've had some really good battles, actually. Your one with Bad Stop early was crazy. Oh, that was just defence driving 101. P put and the that car literally. For, I don't know how many that. So. Put the car on the apex, it can't get past. Yeah, that seems to be the way. But. There is going to be two final laps. It is, because they didn't come in this lap, so we're not going to. Are we going to need no. DRS? Because me no. and Bildy Baldy are still uh, catching. Catching. Okay. Well, we definitely got an interesting little setup here. I think G Star's obviously the favourite with no penalty. Oh, for goodness' sake! As soon as again, barn stop. I think what some of the guys are doing is trying to move out the way. So I've got another five-second penalty for barn <coughs> barn Dom moving off track to allow me through. 
He just got five seconds for a collision, though. Which I think would be with Chelsea. Yeah, with Chelsea did yeah. the same thing. Um, so, yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah, I think the best thing to say in this situation is just... Don't oh! listen to what the game tells you. Well, yeah, I've got Chelsea... Oh, Chelsea Barnstorff. Yeah. Uh, I think for... Like, I think they're trying to do the right game. thing and move out of the way, but yes, it doesn't are. work like that. I think you just need to do it the minute those lights go green, while well, yeah. the flags go green. And because if you do it under the safeguards, it's going to cause all... Like, with this game's confused enough without you doing that. And that's not we put blame on anyone, that's just me saying. Just don't listen to what the game tells you to do. That would be my advice. A sprint well, race to the end. Awesome. Yeah. This is going to be exciting, that's for sure. For some reason it's saying Ant is 1.9 seconds behind Kid, even though he's right behind Kid. But, you know. I hope Mark's back for the restart. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay, <laughs> thank goodness. I was like, I'm going to have to, like, I hope you're on the leaders and scream every time something happens. Should be in this lap, I would have thought. You would think so, for sure. Go Two out laps shoot out. So. It's going to be exciting. No there DRS. we go. Safety car in. The thing is, is DRS going to be that necessary? Because people are going to have so, the guys on soft are going to have so much more grip coming out of every corner. Well, I think pretty much everybody so, pitted, did they not? The, uh, the front two haven't. Kid and Ant. Oh, the only, wow. only two. They got caught, caught they by the safety they, car. Yeah, they missed it. Ah. But Kid's we'll gone to... really early. Yeah, he's gone already. But Ant's really clinging on to him. He is. The thing is, Ant could get him here. Uh, did you say they're on the same penalty? They are. So... If Ant does get him, he does win. Depending on the gap to G Star, that is. Well, they only need three seconds over G Star, so. Who's currently 2.7 behind, but he's on the soft, so he might make it inwards here. Yeah, but Ant's just had a much better exit than Kid. Oh, I thought Nick was having a look then as well. Well, look. Like, Kid's a bit of an old hand at this, so see, he what, is. see what you can pull out. He'll know Chris when to you. also do them a favour, though. I mean, he's on 75% ERS. Him and Ant are both yeah. using about the same amount. But it's yeah, G-Star we've got to watch. He could pick up the win here. But Kid's really struggling for him, Maggots Beckett's. Oh! Oh, he's lost it. And he really took it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were side by side through maggots, and I, I left through him. I don't know if he hit the curb and came into me. I, my driver put his hand up as though there was contact, so <coughs> I'm presuming. Because we just went side by side through cops, and that was good fun, actually. Oh, you've got an E17 shaped car. Yeah, that was um, a bit unusual, that. and then he worked on the apex. Hey, ho. And you've got an absolute. Ridiculous car behind I've you. I've, I've got a Rangers wagon behind. Aye. <laughs> you made me run white! I was that <laughs> insulted. <laughs> oh, boulder has gone! <laughs> well, it's Mark who's got the curse now, anyone he goes near. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I tell you what, this is some hella driving from Kid Dynamite at the moment. He is defending like an absolute god. And he's really costed Anthony here, because Anthony's then having to go massively on the defence as well. Well, he's got nearly six tenths of around, but he's got to try and pull another three tenths on G-Star. He has, but that, Chris is also... That's his Chris issue. Could do him a favour here. Chris could do him a favour, because Chris is right up the rear, but Chris has got super wide of cops. He, he needs tenth and a half, tenth. Oh, I just realised it's last lap. <laughs> we're, we're talking literally half a tenth here. 
This is gonna come down to the oh! line, literally. Oh no, oh. so I was looking forward to a drag race. Oh gee, Styles are out with the three seconds, but can he get back in it is, is the question. This is gonna be so close. Oh, G Star and Bailey of battling. Kid crosses first. Is he gonna get it? He's got it. G Star's five seconds back. He, he is goes third. He gets third at the end. Wow. That little tussle that with is... Bailey just it, it was yeah, enough. Literally. I think Bailey was really close he got him and it just cost G Star in the end, but Wow. That was intense. So another essentially last to first for Kid Dynamite. Yeah. No, I mean, it's just unfair at this point. Isn't and it really? driver of the day. <laughs> well, when you go from 19th to first, what do you expect? Do we even bother doing a driver of the day vote for this? Because <laughs> I think we know who wins it. I am actually set one up, to be fair. Yeah, well deserved though. Well, very well deserved. Um, it was yeah. just incredible. He was Ooh. absolutely on it. So congratulations to him and congratulations to well, thank you for everybody to, who took yes. part. And uh, I'm, I'm going to start by saying thank you to to you, uh, gentlemen, as well for yes. the commentary and and bringing us the action. Yeah, and and putting up with us. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it was good fun. It, it certainly was. was. It was a long one though. It was an experience yeah. as well, let's say that. It's always an experience having gavel in the <laughs> comms box. <laughs> I've learned a lot of things tonight that I probably shouldn't have learned, but yeah. <laughs> that you probably never want to learn again. Well, yeah. Mm. But yep, yeah, there we go. Kid Dynamite won it from 19th on the grid. Ant comes second, G Star third, Lopi fourth, Bergen fifth, Bailey sixth. Nick BT 7th, Carl 8th, Hodgie 9th, B 17th 10th, Reese 11th, Gav 12th, Johnny Smooth 13th with Bandstop 14th, Chelsea 15th, I think Fanning was a DNF, although he's classified 6 laps down, Energy Dance DNF, Red Car Rambo DNF, Winky DNF and Scott was disqualified. But yeah, thank you everybody for watching and thank you for you guys for joining us and keeping the action going. Oh, thank, thank you, you for having us. Thank you. It was certainly a long, interesting one. It certainly was. Yeah. We can do that again. And I think we should kind of close with saying thank you to Her Majesty for the 70 years mm. service. Indeed. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, definitely. Well, there we go, folks. We're back to racing properly next week with Tier 1 and 2 on Monday and Tier 3 and 4 on Wednesday. We will be at the fancy car park known as Miami. Yay! Boo! I hate that crap. Brilliant, sir. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for all of the, everybody who took part. Thank you and uh, for you guys. And, uh, yeah, as Mark said, we will be back. Normal service will be resumed on Monday night. Join us from 7 o'clock. As I say, it'll be tier two to kick us off with the uh, the car park. <laughs> car park shuffle. And uh, around park Miami three. with tier one following suit. And uh, we look forward to seeing everybody then. Yep. Join us for then. Bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.